Hey y'all, happy Sunday. There we go, I finally see something. Hey JP. to get it on the TV. It hadn't got up here yet. Hey, Slim Twiggy. <laughs> it's fixing to be showing. But let me put these on. Hey, ha. There we go. Koa, ha, Slim Twiggy, JP. How y'all doing? We got a beautiful Sunday here. Hey, Monique. Hey, Yolanda. How y'all doing? Thank you. Just got home from church. Y'all know Stephen's still at the lake, so I figured I better get on him. Try to get me a little video in before he starts catching big old fish, if he hadn't already. Hey, Monique. Hey, everybody. Aww. Hey, Cindy. Jacqueline. Rowdy's Country Living. Hey. Got a TV chat. It's not, it's not moving. Hey, Peggy Sue. Hey, Connie. Hey, Monique. Again, JP. Aw. How are y'all all doing? Hey, Joni. I love y'all too, Joni. I sure do. It don't want to connect to the internet. Hey Tracy, hey Diana. Teresa. Candace Prasters Wow. Candace because the TV internet is not working. Hey Joni. Hey everybody. How's y'all's weather? The sun is shining outside. It is so nice. Jans for Jesus, good morning. I appreciate your prayers. Oh, thank you, Miss Candace. I appreciate y'all too for watching and liking and subscribing and just being here. Hey, Barbara, Tracy, it's beautiful in East Texas. All right. Wow. Miss Candace, did you say you was feeling better? I see they're saying congratulations to you. 
It's beautiful where Corey's at. Y'all miss Helen on. Um, she was here for the thumbnail. She um had to run home a little bit. She says she'd try to come back. I saw Stephen's coffee thing this morning where he was catching some bait. <laughs> he does get excited about fishing. I'm gonna go fishing with him some too after I get over having my surgery. Oh, hey Lady Magnolia. Yeah, one of the guys I work with asked me the last day I was there, so Miss Tammy, are you gonna go fishing any? I said, just as sure as I get an opportunity to, I sure am. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Candace feels better. Oh, March's pastor. I'm so proud. Thank you, Miss Candace for reposting it. Thank you, Miss Janice. Hey, ha. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say hey to everybody. So that's why I do like Bentley. When I get on here, I say, hey, everybody. <laughs> or when I'm typing, I say, hey, everybody. Hey, I don't know if he was in, if Mystery Man was in, in anything that Stephen done yesterday, but uh, he did ride up there and ride around with him a little while. He said he fished. I'm ready, JP. I'm ready. I sure am. That's what the pastor asked me this morning. Was I ready and did I have everything set up? And I said, I sure do, and I'm ready. I said, they, I said Dina and Christina's going with me. And I got a good friend that's a nurse that's offered to help me some if Dina has to go to her doctor's appointments and stuff. And uh, two or three ladies at the church has offered to come help. And, you know, I got plenty of people. Even some of y'all offered to come help if y'all was closer. <laughs> but all I really need is prayers, and it's all going to be great. It is. But I'm not naive enough to think that it ain't going to hurt, because it is, and I don't like hurting. <laughs> Joni, I'm getting a new left shoulder. But I can tell y'all, it's going to be fine. And after several months, it's going to be real fine. <laughs> All right, Ha, I see. We didn't get to talk yesterday. I see your praise report. Thank the Lord. I am, I am just so thankful. Oh, and I know that's got to make you feel better all over. All right, hubby came out of surgery. Well, oh, I thank y'all for the praise reports. Those are so awesome. That's right. Okay, ha, huh? that's, gallbladder's a piece of cake. I had that took out, too. <laughs> so, you're going to feel a lot better after you do that, too. So.
Thank you, Cindy. That's awesome. I appreciate that. Yes, Candace, she sure will feel better. Yeah, we got 97 watching on Sunday afternoon and 22 like it. Thank you, Ha. I know it's all gonna be okay. I do. And I'm not concerned about it a bit. No, I don't think he has either, Monique. He he was trying to wait and let me have some time today because he knew he knew I wanted to do a video. So y'all might hear from him later. And I guarantee you, if they catch some big fish, he will definitely show them to y'all. Y'all don't have to worry about that. If it's something worth showing, he's going to make sure y'all see it. I promise. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to go back and get this to come up on the TV so I can see more. Yeah, ha, we do got a lot of sweet people in chat. Yeah, Monique, they do have a bad connection where they at. It's awful up there. <laughs> it is. And when he got under that little bridge, ooh, that sure didn't help none. <laughs> well, it says it's successfully connected now, so... Sharon Scott, hey there. Yep, it's on the TV now, so we in business. Hey, Arna. I see Monique is speaking to you, so I know you in there. Oh, y'all, and I heard from Lincoln. Lincoln's uh, cousin stood up and said that Lincoln was off of life support, that he still has some issues, but he is so much better. And that's the 13-year-old boy that needs a kidney. But um, he is better, better, better. Thank the Lord. So y'all still pray for Lincoln, but thank you so much for the prayers that y'all sent up for Lincoln. Because we keep hearing good things. Yeah, ha, thank you for telling them. Yeah, y'all do a thumbs up and share and subscribe. Thank you, JP. Yes, and Slim Twiggy and Ha. It is wonderful for Lincoln. I'm so proud. Oh, our church service, Wendy, was, was awesome. It really was. It was based on basically... Um, when the Lord the Lord puts us through trials to teach us patience and to help us become patient people and even though the trials are a load sometimes the Lord still expects us to shine and you know praise Him and just have faith that everything is going to work out in the Lord's will, and it will. And then, after we go through those trials and, and we get patience, then the Lord gives us an opportunity to shine for Him. And the pastor was asking, had we ever had an opportunity to shine after going through trials? And what did we do with that opportunity? Did we shine or did we miss out on it? And that'll give you a lot to think about. I pray that anything that I go through that, you know, regardless of 
how bad or anything it is that I can always be a living testimony for the Lord because he's the one that's going to get us through everything. So, But that's what our message was about. When the Lord gets ready for us to shine, what do we do with it? And it'll get you thinking. That's right, Wendy. He sure does. Oh, and speaking of shining, I got three things yesterday. Well, actually, I got one a couple of days ago, I think. And then I got two more things yesterday. But I want to show y'all. Hey, Diane, I want to show y'all what they are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I sure do. Look at here. Somebody's got me ready for the hospital. Ready for, well, I ain't going to take it to the hospital, but look. Look at this nice, soft, wraparound shawl here. Look. And it's got hand pockets on the inside. So when I'm sitting in my recliner, I can wrap this around me when Danny's got an Eskimo weather in him. <laughs> I like being cold, but now look at here. I actually got this Friday, because Friday night, I actually let Grandma wrap it around her at the concert. So, this did not, I can't remember, I believe, I'm, I'm guessing if I'm wrong, but I believe Dave and Cher sent this. I don't know, because a couple of things had a name on it, and one of them didn't, and, but anyway, whoever sent it, thank you so much, but I believe that was from them. Let me show you what else I got, speaking of shining. Now, this, yes, y'all see this purple shirt? The package had Danny's name on it, but look. Danny couldn't get one arm in this, so I knew it was for me. <laughs> it's my favorite color, and can y'all tell what it says? It says, I want to be so full of Christ <laughs> that when a mosquito bites me, it flies away singing, there is power in the blood. <laughs> Amen. I can't wait to wear this shirt. And that's exactly how I feel. Yes, I know some days the power seems a lot stronger than others, but oh, I love this. Okay, now I know who this one here is from. It had a name on the inside. Look at this beautiful pullover hoodie. It's got a hoodie. Ooh, look. See the design on it? Living the cross life, and the cross is connected to the art. This is a one of a kind, and I have, well, I have the first one that I know of. I don't know if the, the owner has one or not, but I'm sure she probably, <laughs> she probably does. But it was an honor to get this right here. And uh, Miss Dove Lynn sent me this. Thank you, Dove Lynn, if you on there. This is beautiful. Y'all, I love my stuff. And I can't wait to put my, my shirt on it's, and go outside in the woods and give them mosquitoes some power in the blood. Because <laughs> they are sure about me. <laughs> oh, but I love that. I love all three. Now, Danny... Woo, he got a bunch of stuff from Blooming yesterday. <laughs> he got Crocs. He got six shirts. He got a, a like a dress t-shirt, three of them. And then he got uh, three, it was either two or three, I can't remember, collared t-shirts he got trying to think anyway he got a lot of stuff I got a rope down but he got his cro his crocs 
Hey y'all, hey everybody, hey Luna Beck. Luna Beck, did you see my uh, t-shirt? Did you see what it said? I, I didn't know if you was in here when I held it up. Yes, Tammy Beck saw it, yes. Hey Miss Tammy, I pray you're doing better. Oh, I want you so much to get well. I don't want you just to get back to where you were. I want you to get back better than where you were. And I know God can do it. Hey, Arna. Oh, Luna saw my shirt. Wasn't it beautiful? Hey, Jenny. Y'all. Oh. Hey, Miss Sandra. Hey, Susie. Oh, y'all, and the update on the camper freezer. Thank you, Candace. And the, I mean, the freezer and the refrigerator. It all, it's cooling. Praise the Lord. Maybe it'll keep cooling. Hey, Della. Please. Oh, I sure will, Della. Jerry Eric and Chris. I sure will, Miss Candace. I'm going to write you down again, but I pray for you every day, but I'm going I'm to keep on. And we got, um, okay. Hi, Tammy. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you, Lorena. I know it's going to be good. Well, hey, Miss Thelma, we glad you jumped in here and said hello. We sure are. Yep, we, um, we have to pray for one another, uplift one another. Thank you, Crystal. Um. Hey, Jesus girl. I'm doing wonderful today. How are you doing? Are you better, better and better? Hey, Miss Betty. Yep, we still pray, Luna, we still praying for Dove Lynn, I tell you, she, she needs prayer. There's so many that need prayer, and we keep praying for them, and they're going to get better. Thank you, Miss Angel, Ruth, Joanne. Thank you. <laughs> you got promoted, Thelma? <laughs> oh. Arna? I hear you, Arna. I do, I do stuff like that, too. I'm so glad you're feeling better, Julie. Yes, I am. Thank you, Miss Thelma. I got to get off this thing. It's about to 
is pulling the neck. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm ready for me some sloppy clothes, but I, I, I kept on my dress just for y'all, cause y'all so special to me. And I want y'all to know, I didn't go yesterday cause. I needed to do some major house cleaning, and it was a good opportunity with Mystery Man gone <laughs> to get some done, and um, and I did. I'm I'm proud of what I got done. I I got more that I can do and need to do, but I got a lot that needed to be done completed, and he even noticed when he got home. <laughs> oh. I would have loved to have been fishing, but anyway, I knew what I needed to do, so. Thank you. Thank all of you for the for the prayers and saying you're going to keep praying for me. I, I appreciate that. Y'all need to pray for my sister, too, since she's going to be helping take care of me. Oh, Julie. Thank you, Shug. Wendy, he will. He will take care of me. He always has. He's never failed me. In my 62 years, he's never failed me. Hey, Tammy Jean. Thank you, Jenny. Pray for Dina. <laughs> And my daughter, Christina, she's going to drive separate because she's going to come back. And my sister's going to spend the night. So y'all pray for Christina traveling mercy down there and back. Thank you, Jody. Hey. Y'all know, in my older age, I'm reminded of, you know how little girls, when the mama used to put them on frilly dresses and little slips and stuff that itched them. I cut all the tags out of this stuff this morning. <laughs> and and both shoulders are just itching from something that's in the neck of it. That's why I keep doing it. But my pastor's wife, Miss Linda, had on a beautiful dress last Sunday and she told me that Belts had a rack of dresses on sale. Well, they had a rack of everything on sale, but anyway. I figured I'd go check that rack out. And I did find me two new dresses. And this is one of them. But they something. I don't know if it's nylon. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But I'll have to research it later. So if y'all see me keep picking at my shoulders, that's why. <laughs> they something grinding in me. Oh, Danny says I have sensitive skin. And I, pro I probably do. I do. Soap breaks you out. Yeah. Different soaps break me out. But I didn't <laughs> tell them no. That. I don't know why I can't. Bam bomb or whatever it is. I don't know why I can't remember the names of anything because I don't try, I reckon, that the Florida sisters sent me. Man, I love to put take my makeup off and put that stuff on my face and my arms and my elbows. Oh, that stuff just makes you feel, skin feel so smooth. It's a little, like, greasy, but, woo, man, it, it, it makes you, it don't make my skin feel like cow skin or something. You know, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's good. And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cow skin, whatever. But anyway, Danny's laughing at me. But I went to, well, y'all know back when I went and got my makeup, I went to Moral Norman's. Hey, y'all, pray for my son in law. I got you, JP. Yeah, y'all help me make sure I see these prayer requests, moderators, please. Even though I'm talking. Mm. 
But anyway, I went and got that makeup. Ryan, okay. Thank you, JP. I got you. I'll be praying for his family. Sure will. Um, I would put it on, and I guess it didn't look that bad, but right in here, it got to looking like, I guess it was settling in the wrinkles or something. It got to looking like it was dirty. Well, I went to Walmart with my daughter, and she said, Mama, I want to show you something. Y'all know me good enough, I'm going to tell y'all what I've done. She said, this right here is good stuff. I said, it is? She said, yeah, I believe you'll like it. So it was Al May, something you put on your face. Anyway, it was makeup, but I didn't know that at the time. Anyway, I bought me some. I come home, and the next day I squirted it out of the little thing, and it was white like lotion, and I thought, oh, this just going to make my skin feel good. So I put some all over my hands and rubbed it all over my face. Then I put my regular makeup on. I got to work went and when I went to use the bathroom, I looked in the mirror and my face was so dark. I thought, man, why is my face so dark today? Well, may not know it no better. You know, I cleaned my makeup off that night, got up the next morning and Got that Al May and put it on my face again because it felt so smooth rubbing it on. And then I noticed, I looked at the tube and it had brown fingerprints on it. I said, oh, this is actually makeup. It turns brown. <laughs> I didn't know it turned brown. I didn't know it was makeup. Honey, I had me, that first day, I had me a triple layer of makeup on. I had, I had the Al May, I had the Merle Normans, and then I had the powder. <laughs> so, y'all, like Stephen says, you can't make it up. <laughs> this is me all day long. But, um, thank you, Gwen. Aw. We glad you jumped in here to say hey. And thank you for your prayers. Okay, Bernice, I got it for blooming. And I didn't know that. If she told me I, I didn't get it because I... I didn't realize it. <laughs> but anyway, yep. Yeah. But I love that Almay. Mine's medium smooth or something, but man, I love it. It don't make your face look like it's got dirt on it. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Well, you know, somebody told me one time, every barn needs a little paint sometime. <laughs> Trust me. I do need a little. Deborah Snow, praise report, tell me my husband Jack has made it three months now. No cigarettes. Oh, thank the Lord, Deborah. I'm, I'm so thankful for y'all, for both of you. Yes. Thank you for sharing that. And y'all, I hadn't got to tell Christina that story yet, so I'll get to tell her tomorrow. But I had to tell her before they put me to sleep, because once they put me to sleep, I ain't going to be telling nobody nothing. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jenny. You are so sweet. I mean, there's a lot of sweet people on here, but you, you are just sweet as sugar. 
and Jesus girl. She's sweet as sugar and blooming and joyous. They so many. I mean, I don't want to leave anybody out. So let's just say this. All you ladies is sweet as sugar. How about that? And you men, ooh, no finer men around than y'all. <laughs> Where's John and Jim? They might have been in here. I just hadn't seen them. Oh, I love the purple hearts and the purple crosses. Bernice, you spoke to Blooming this morning. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. I hear you, huh? You knocked them out, huh? <laughs> Good. All right. Thank you, Miss Connie and Deborah. Oh, okay. Thank you for that tidbit of information there. I can take all the helpful uh, advice I can get. 78 year old. All right, Luna, awesome. I'm so thankful. I'm glad he found his way back. Hey, Miss Sandra. That's right, Ha. Huh? God's never late. He's always on time. That's right. Seventh time. Ooh, with our twins. Ooh, Miss Candace. I can't imagine how bad that hurts. And I hope I never get the opportunity to find out. But I'm so sorry. <laughs> ha, them fish wore him out yesterday. I can answer that. He's feeling okay, but them fish wore him out. Because he would tire when he got home. Oh, thank you, Luna, for sharing that. Thank you, Miss Sandra. Everything's going to be fine. Just fine. Oh, praise the Lord. No pain today. Hey, we'll, ta we'll take it, won't we? <laughs> we'll take a, a no pain day. You might want a shirt, too. <laughs> You look like you spilled everything in the world on that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Tell them I'm fixing to come tell them something. Y'all get ready. Mr. Man's fitting to come tell y'all something. <laughs> you got to go, Thelma? Thank you, Miss Thelma. That's all I need is prayer. I appreciate that so much. Because we've already seen how God can do when when it's his will. Oh, Jenny, thank you. Bless your heart, Tammy, just because. That's so sweet. Thank you for the super chat. 
I'm glad I got it before Mr. Man got over here, because he'd be thinking it was because of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding, y'all. Oh, have to laugh sometime, don't we? See this thing hey, that's, me again? That's the last thing I'll think that. <laughs> Bye, Miss Thelma. You have a blessed day. I wanted to know if them fish wore you out yesterday. I told her, yeah. Hey, that ride up there in the back <laughs> what wore me out. Hey, Annie. I went up there and seen that place they was at, y'all. Thank you, Annie. He's got, you know, he's got a thumbnail of it where he doing his morning show up there one time. That place is nice, boys. Okay. Hey, everybody. Oh, uh, you got, I, I mean, I don't know why they ain't, I don't know why Stephen ain't videoed it. But that, uh, that motel, or hotel, Come in. is, uh, it, it got a, uh, a code oh, in the back of it. Like right in the backyard where you can pull up and park your boats. Oh, uh, I don't. Oh, uh, I don't know why he ain't walk around there and do his video there. You know his morning video. You know either the other time or this time. I I mean, man, it's nice. Cause he's about to have a fit to get to the water. Yeah, I don't think he. <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't think he's well, Janie, Janie. like had his mind on doing the video. Y'all see Chloe? Cute Chloe head. No, he was ready to get to that water. I heard him say it's $150 a night. And he knows he's got to come at home today, so... Oh, happy birthday, Hollywood. <laughs> oh, Stephen was wanting to stay. I heard, I heard him trying to talk everybody in the last day in the stadium. Thank you, Inbell. Good to see you, too, Inbell said. Good to see you, Danny. Oh, thank you, Miss Inbell. <laughs> Jody yeah. said she'd rather just enjoy fishing. Uh, yeah, Stephen, he, he don't he wasn't wanting to come home. I mean, he still ain't home, but I mean, he was yesterday he's trying to get everybody to stay. The whole bunch is up there. Chris and Patty and uh, uh, Christopher, that's their son, Bentley, Stephen, Cool Hand Lou, and uh, you know, uh, Hollywood, all them names they use, I can't hardly keep up with y'all. Hollywood's little daughter. Princess Carly. Yeah. They's all up there. Cool hand Luke. Patty was walking around smiling. Patty all the time smiling. Hey, Nana's crazy life. Oh, I was going to tell y'all a while ago. I got to talking about the soap, and I don't think I ever finished telling y'all. That goat soap. Oh, I love that stuff. And it hadn't broke me out. It's so, man, it feels like lotion. I think it's Irish Spring came and it breaks you out. Oh, um, well, that goat soap, man, that stuff is so <laughs> soft. It feels like lotion. <laughs> goat soap. I think they, I'm almost sure they said it was made from goats. Hey, Miss you, Lamb. The goat's done a good job. Hey, Miss Tim. Hey, oh. hey to all y'all. Hey, everybody. I guess. Yolanda. I guess I ain't told everybody hey, but hey to everybody. Oh. When I got back last night, I tried to get Tim to go with me. And... Hey, I Luna. love it, Slim Twiggy. But she she likes to clean up while I ain't here. I don't know why, but... Because he's in the way. Okay, women, come on here. 
How many of you can actually clean house good with your husband in the way? Nobody. Uh, Goat milk. I said, man, come on. You know, I'd like for Tim to go with me. I said, come on, go with me. She said, I can't let Dina walk in this house like this. But I mean, I didn't even see nothing wrong. <laughs> hey, Miss Donna. Hey, y'all don't believe what I done yesterday. When I was coming back. I think they're like, like right before dark. It ain't really dark, but it ain't really light. Man, I turned around and got into oncoming traffic. I ain't never gonna talk about old folks and stuff driving me slow no more. I see y'all's comments. They had this center turning lane thing, and it was the highway was real wide. And they got this center turning thing where oncoming cars could turn and get in the center of the road. I went in that road and got into oncoming traffic. And then I went to McDonald's and bumped into somebody at the drive-in window. That's worse than me. I have been going by down the bypass on the wrong in the wrong lane before. Yeah, Tammy told me she's done that it's same scary. thing. It's scary. I've done that about three times because it was dark. Hey, I bumped into a. I was trying to ease up to the window to hand the woman my money. There was a truck sitting there, and I hit a truck. Hey, he didn't get out, so I didn't get out. We got something in common, Luna. I love that. And Slim Twiggy, I'm sorry, Danny. Slim Twiggy, I'll be glad to buy that soap if you send some more. I'll be, I'll be glad to pay you for it. That stuff is good. They didn't say nothing, George. They didn't ever get out. But I... I bumped it pretty good. <laughs> I was sitting there uh, trying to think of what I was going to do, you know, if he got out mad or whatever. If he got out mad or, or whatever, you know. I mean, you know, naturally I was going to have to tell him I didn't mean to do it. But he didn't ever get out. Dovelin, I know you're driving, but hey, I saw you come in there. I love my hoodie, and I showed it to him a while ago. Maybe while you're in the hospital, Danny can do a little cleaning for you. Ha ha, only joking, Danny. He ain't got it cleaned now, it's cleaned up. If he'd just keep it clean. <laughs> hey, Tim is like so fast, y'all. Yeah, she's like Stephen, I mean, she really is. She just ain't, uh, she ain't got it quite like Stephen, but, but that's where he got his stuff from. But she can do a lot in 30 minutes. I've seen her before. That's right, Ann A Bell. bunch of times. She can, she can do a lot in 30 minutes. I don't know how you can do all what she does like in 30 minutes time, but she can. Replacement, Jody. <laughs> Grandma's up in Walco talking about that dog. She's, she ain't liking that about that dog going to jump on her at that store. She sure ain't. I'm just thankful that the dog didn't jump on her. I'm glad I wasn't there. I mean, no doubt about it, Stephen would have took the dog down, but... Especially like... If if he said what they said, he said, well, you walked up on him fast. Like, that don't make no difference. I, that, I mean, that might have been it for me right there, talking about, like, walked up on the dog fast. It don't matter how you walk up on a dog. The way I see it. Hey, me too, Nana's crazy life. You see Jody there? We've heard a lot of success stories, Tim. Uh -huh. 
You know, I told y'all a long time ago, Tammy's prayers was powerful, y'all. Yeah. Thank you for that positive note, Jody. Hey, Miss Marty. Well, Miss Sandra, I, I gave up mopping floors. I, I, I can't mop them. I got a dust mop thing that I go over them with one of those Swiffer things, but as far as hard mop scrubbing, nah, that don't happen no more. Hey, Dixie, Miss. Gladys, Mardell, I saw you come in there. I would have got mad about that dog, I'm sure of it, y'all. Yeah, from the way Grandma sounds, that kind of dog doesn't really need to be out in stores. Thank you, Bernice. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. Oh, Tina, thank you. Y'all have fun at the birthday party. Tell your granddaughter happy birthday. All right. Her and Hollywood's got the same birthday. I guess there's both this today. I don't know. Dixie, Miss, she don't know who is the prettiest. I probably Maybe would have missed Scott. Or Chloe. I probably would. I mean, I, oh, you don't make it, you don't. See, he's making it grandma's fault that the dog done that, and, and that just wouldn't cut it with me. Yes, Miss Bernice, we will definitely be praying for Bruno. <coughs> we sure will. Aw, uh -huh, said her oldest turns 36 today. That's three birthdays. All right. It, so you see they're blooming one uh, yeah. Yeah, I already got it wrote down. We well, don't play for Miss Bowman. Her her mother is in hospice, not doing good. See, I know, Jody. No see, food or drink. Grandma wasn't in the wrong. Like you walked up on the dog too fast. Ain't no excuse. She don't, she, she goes in the store not expecting a, an attack dog. And Tammy had one like that try to get her one time. That's right, Bell. If it had been a small child, it, it might have got it. Well, he's on the leash team. Yeah. But a small child would have probably moved faster than Grandma. Oh, I, I, that's, I that's what I meant. That's right. No excuses, Jesus girl. No excuse. Now, the dog was on the leash, Jesus girl. Mm -hmm. And that's what stopped the dog. Oh. Yeah, Luna Beck, tell them happy birthday for us, too. Oh. That. I mean, y'all might not know about that Swainsboro, y'all, but it's like a small town. They, they, uh, they almost everybody know everybody down there. And Dublin's a small town, too, but that Swainsboro's real little. That's right, the dog shouldn't have been in the store. She told the man at the cash register, said, she, said he ain't even blink an eye. Yeah, Miss Bernice, your messages are showing. 
Oh, thank you, Jody. Thank you for the super chat. I about figured out what I'm gonna do, Joe. Mm. Yeah, what? Grandma's won't know should she call. I said, well, you know, it ain't gonna make no difference now. She said, well, it might save somebody what else. What are you shaking for, baby? Mm -hmm. You don't like the way Mama's holding you? I think she liked it better looking at the camera. <laughs> She's sitting there just a shaking, man. What's wrong? You want to turn back around and look at the camera? You want to look at them people. You want to see them people's names. You want to see everybody talking at you. Hmm? You want to see everybody talking at you. Hmm? Get the camera. And see, she ain't shaking now. That's the one that climbs up on the couch with me, y'all. I just sent a long one to Tammy. It showed up. Aw, Deborah says she wants us to see her smile. You smile for them? Hmm? You want to smile for them? Oh, Cricket's laying over here in the chair beside me. And when I was cleaning up yesterday in the kitchen, Cricket got up here in the chair and lay down and just watched me. I hear you, Jade. Christina was attacked by a child when she was smaller, too. <laughs> July the 5th, Chloe and Cricket will be six years old. I, I, call, I called them up and told them I was coming up there with my G-U-N. When Christina got bit, they said they ain't no need to come. The husband done, done him in. Thank you, Miss Joyce, for the super chat. If y'all know what I'm saying, the husband had done got him. Yeah. What happened was Chris, Christina was up there, and uh, the little girl that owned the dog hit the dog, trying to make the dog go on, and with Christina being a stranger, the dog jumped on Christina and the man went outside and took care of it right then. Mm. Yep, I got you Slim Twiggy, we know. Well, we ain't shaking no more, y'all. She don't look as comfortable to me, but I guess she is. Look, we got 226 watching and 98 like it. All right. And Grandma's supposed to come back, y'all, but we, we don't know for sure if she's going to come back. I hear you, Mardell. She was kind of unnerved a little bit. Yeah. She's still kind of all shook up from that dog. She stops by sometimes after church. Said she ain't ate or nothing. She was going to go uh, eat something and then come back. Said she might come back. Wow, Tammy. I don't, un I don't understand a lot of people. We just have to pray for them, but I'm glad you okay from that. How you like it when, how you like it when they say they don't bite? That makes you feel better, don't it? <laughs> it don't make me feel no better. That's what I'm talking about. That's right, Cindy. Being up in that age category, things bother you more than they do younger folks. I I'm glad I wasn't there. Yeah, me too. Let me 
nose is trying to run. <laughs> yep, bad enough a rooster attacks her now, now a dog. Yeah. Hey y'all, um, Steven's got 19 little baby chicks. Can he surgery is tomorrow? Yes. Hey, and it's gonna be fine, y'all. Fine. I didn't got it figured out, y'all. Hey, Miss Joyce. Oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> I didn't got everything figured out. <laughs> what you got figured See, out? See, actually, it's a little early for the real good fishing at the lakes, but it's fitting to hit, y'all. I could. I didn't look up the water temperature and everything. So it's fitting to hit. And I don't get the, I'm gonna break the camper out. And you see what Tammy Beck said? What? She said the dog bit her. Then the dog ran to Luna, tried to bite him, it didn't work. He got the teeth slapped out of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I couldn't let that go by, y'all. Yeah, Luna's a fighter, y'all. That's his instinct. You can't, you can't get that out of somebody. And I also have that same instinct. I had that instinct too that day I come home from hunting and Danny told me Christina had been bit by that dog. The guy, uh, he fixed Stephen's refrigerator and, uh, he didn't fix mine. Uh, he looked at it and all that, and uh, but it started working by itself. Uh, I hadn't checked it today, but I checked it before I left yesterday to go up yonder to Stephen, where they was at. And it was uh, cold. I'm, I'm going to go out there and check it today, but y'all going to get the camper out. And me and Tammy are gonna go down the road there when she get after she's over the hurting part. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to go. Yeah, he road. got it. Yeah, that man. I was standing there when that man walked up there to Stevens. He knew what what, what was wrong right time he looked at it. Right time he looked at it. And man, these these RV campers, y'all. They got them fixed where they can run off electricity or propane. And the electricity <laughs> part of my camper is gone. I got and you, Deborah. The electricity part of the refrigerator, mm. it won't run on that no more. But it'll still run on propane. So I ain't going to take it out and buy nothing and all that because it's a big job. As long as it'll run on propane, I'm satisfied with that. Thank you, Jesus girl. Aw, thank you. Love you too. But you need you, you need a refrigerator, y'all. I mean, you know, uh, you can put stuff in a cooler, but you don't want to do that. Be messed with that. Hey, little Missy, Deborah said. Get the DoorDash number and buy you a bunch of corn dogs and pop tarts. <laughs> hey, boy. Yeah, you know, a lot of times, y'all, we go in that camper. We got everything in there you want to eat, but a lot of times, Tammy will go get us a plate somewhere. You, uh, a lot of times, you kind of near where food's being served, where we go anyway. But a lot of times, she'll go get us a plate and CJP's message. What's that? Is it constantly providing pro propane or only when it is in use? Hey, I don't know. I don't know that if it. I think what you're saying is does the propane cut off and on? I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I ain't never hardly messed with the propane that much. Uh, but it's the. I don't have a little bottles like Stephen has on his camper. Mine has a big propane tank under there. So you actually can put a 
you know, it, it holds a lot. Hey, Ed Higgs. But, uh, and, and we used to keep the refrigerator running all the time, see. Even when we come back, we just keep that refrigerator running. And it added to the light bill a little bit, but probably wasn't that big of a deal. But since it's running on propane, we'll probably cut it off whenever we get back. I'm about ready for some fish. Hey, Ed. Hey, Ed, you need to be thinking about the fish because it's fitting a hit up there at the lake. It, it's, hey, I'm telling you, it's fitting a hit. So yesterday, when I was with Stephen and them, and uh, I left and went, so I went to another place that I know where fish is there by the millions. This time of the year. And I went to check it out for Stephen in, in Hollywood. And, and it ain't quite it ain't quite the time of the year yet. But I told him, I said, the fish will hit this month up there. Fish fry time. It will, it will the fish will hit this month. They'll, like, like you'll go and catch more fish than you got coolers to put them in. And sometimes that will <coughs> take just a couple. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Going out big there. So yeah, I started going at that lake when a long time, man, probably about forty-five years ago, and I didn't know nothing about it. But I learned that lake up and down. I learned everything. I know where everything is. I can go from one end of the lake to the other in the dark, riding wide open. And there's all kind of big sloughs and everything. Yep. Hey, and it's. Hey, Ed, it's right there at that, too. You know, whenever we was down there camping, Ed, mm -hmm. and uh, y'all all went up there. I told y'all the I told y'all where the fish was and everything. Y'all all went up there. I didn't realize it, but Stan, Stan was, with, was there when we was camping. Stan was there, and he remembered it. I said, Dad, that's the place I'm talking about going, Stan. I think they forgot about it. Bye, Miss Bernice. You have a blessed day. Oh, Bernice, you gotta go. She got to go get her meds. But it's fitting to go away. And a matter of fact, the bass is biting up there now. We'll be praying for Miss Blooming. Hey, them bass is good. A bass is good, y'all. And everybody talking about how good white perch is and all that, which y'all, some of y'all might call them crappie. But I, I mean, I don't. It's something about white perch I just don't care for. You like them, Tim? Yeah, I like. Them. I like catfish better though. Nana's crazy life. I love the night fish. I'd rather night fish than I had during the day. Oh, boy, I've been there before. And I didn't have that pontoon boat then. I had to... She's laying up there on the deck. It's cold, man. She's laying up there on the front seat, curled up like a little dog. Like had a, a, a sleeping bag. I can sleep anywhere. Like right there where she wanted to be, you know, with me. The water, the water. Is that grandma? Oh. Yep, yeah, grandma come back. She did come back. You okay, mom? Yeah. There's a bunch of mud out there. I'm about to slip down right there. A bunch of what? Mud out there in that oh. path. <coughs> So I don't know him. Y'all probably gonna need to get her to close together. I am, but she got sand first. Got so y'all grandma's here now. So I'm gonna lay low a little bit. No. But uh <laughs> he ain't gonna get up. 
There you go. Get on over here, Grandma. They, they not many boats up there at night. You go. It's real calm. It's real calm. Did you eat something? Yeah. Okay. I cooked me some hamburgers and gravy and some rice. That's what we've ate a couple times. That was good. I, I was fast. I had to, and I still ain't. I mean, it might take me a while. Yeah, we told him you was shaking about I, the dog. So. I mean, I just don't know why that upset me so bad, but it did. It, it really scared me, but because it more scared than, than I've ever been scared by a, anything like, like that. I mean, that just was. <laughs> See, Grandma? Tell Grandma hey, I forgot to. Y'all, forgive me. I, I'm not together. I'm, uh, I think you ought to rest some, Mom. Yeah. I don't really... I, I mean, I think you ought to try to rest a little more. Well, I I have to do things. <laughs> I'm trying to get situated, y'all. We need to get closer no. or we Well, you okay? can slide this way a little bit. No, more. you good, Mom. <laughs> you good, man. See? I just, I'm just so nervous for some you, reason, and I don't... You act like to me you're a little off. Balance. Like Thank something you, ain't just quite right. Well, it's just a lot of stuff. You're not trying you know? to get dehydrated again, are you? I don't guess so. <laughs> hey, lady. Mm hmm. Yeah. These sweet dogs don't bother nobody. I can tell you 19 little ones that ain't getting dehydrated. <laughs> don't chickens eat and drink the most? They ever drink. Seen? I mean, every I mean, time they I eat go too. in there, they don't have no water. I know. It. They, I finally put the big thing of water they back drink, in there. They drink a lot of water. I, whenever I left my chickens down there, and Stephen had to water uh, look after them while I was in the hospital, he told me how much that little white one was drinking. I mean, that thing would be dry every every morning. Mm -hmm. he, uh, and it, and it's still like that. Them little three chickens, they drink. I mean, it's just yeah. gone. I mean, they drink a lot. I guess that food is kind of makes them thirsty. That dry uh, pellet things they eat. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, I gave them 19 chickens water three times last night. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, this was after midnight. And then this morning I got up. And they didn't have no water. I went in there and loaded them up again. I think you probably can put that big thing back in there now, too. Yeah. I, well, I put the bottom of it back in there, but I didn't put the whole thing and in there. And it's the dirtiest. It does. They, they look like they just get in there with like, hogs and <laughs> root around in it or something. It ain't going to be long, and them little chickens are going to be coming out the bucket. <laughs> they already yeah. trying to jump. Yeah, they will. They'll <laughs> jump out. What kind of store was y'all at yesterday? Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply in Swainsboro, y'all. Why, did somebody ask you? Mm-hmm. Did you see it, Danny, that Arnold dog? Asked. I didn't see it. There's a man, when we was up there, we was going in, he come by and we had that dog was pulling him, like, just going hard, and, and, he, and that man was behind him trying to hold him. I didn't even think nothing about it when I seen that, but when we went in there looking for that incubator, the aisles is narrow and he was down there and we was trying to see if the incubators was on that aisle. And that man had that dog, I, that's the most vicious dog I've ever seen in my life. You know, you you assume somebody's got sense enough not to have a dog like that uh, in there. I, I would assume that, but uh, I mean, I've seen people with uh, animals in stores, but that was the most vicious dog, and he didn't even look vicious. That, that probably least, ain't the first yeah. time that dog's ever done that. And then, and then <clears throat> him, him blaming it on you, you walked up there yeah. fast. And I wasn't even, I, I like was as far from here to that chair to him, but when I, I went around, Stephen was right here, and I went around on the other side of Stephen's car so I could ask that man what kind of dog that was because he was unusual looking. And boy, when I stepped out around Stephen, I didn't even step towards the dog. I just stepped out around Stephen. Boy, that dog, 
I've been unnerved since then. Luna said you was an amazing woman. You were strong. I am. <laughs> I don't feel strong. She, I, I she's mean, not snoring, Miss Wendy. But but I that unnerved me so, and I've I've not got over it yet. I don't know why I have not got over it because I know the dog's not around me now and he can't bother me but the situation just, just Jade said it's a shock to your system it sure was I mean I was not expecting nothing and that man was in there just squatted down over there looking at some stuff and we was gonna go down that aisle and and see if the incubators was gone because we'd never been in that store we didn't know where they was at we were just walking up down the thing trying to see where they was and we stopped at the end of the aisle where he was and we was looking you know and, and I stepped around Stephen and I wanted to go ask that man what kind of dog that was I didn't even get it out of my mouth Whew. hey modern homestead and our camera was buffing buffering or whatever you call it we had to it, it didn't get that. I, I hate that it didn't get that because y'all would have seen how how it unnerved See, that's me. probably a metal building. Yeah. But it was it was doing it on and off all the way up there and all the way back. Modern Homestead says she has a flower growing in her new yard and she needs, in Alamo, and she needs help identifying it. Oh. All you got to do is send Miss Helen a picture. She can tell well, you what tell kind me of flower. What, I mean, a flower. I mean, she can't describe it or nothing. I, I could probably tell you what it is if I had any. Tell her what it looks like. Or does she know? Oh, it's growing in her yard. It's growing in her yard. Is she telling it? Oh, Not yet. Whoa. Daddy knocked the speaker off. Made the baby jump. Irresponsible owner. Yeah, I, I mean, I know it, it won't help me any, but uh, if that boy continues, he was a young, young uh, man. He, he might have been 19 or 20 or 25. I don't know how old he was, but. He wasn't old. I'll be right back, y'all. Uh, I got t-shirt. You know, it might might help if he... Well, I don't know if it... Only thing I know is tractor supply might keep somebody out of there with an animal. You know, I don't know <clears throat> why anybody would take an animal to town in a store for. My nose was running. But somebody was Your saying turn. he looked aggressive by the way he was pulling that boy across the parking lot, you know, because he was, he was, the boy was trying to keep up with him. Come here. <laughs> oh. Danny, have y'all seen that house up there where Sheldon used to live? It's got a metal roof and it's red and black every other they done a metal. Georgia metal roof yeah Georgia Bulldog it looked fun I hadn't seen it we hadn't been that way you know where Sheldon lived yeah I think it's her house yeah and it's got a black and a red and a black and a red and it's striped from the street it's just you can see it. I tried to video it yesterday, but it didn't show up that good because all that buffering and mess was going on. Y'all were going fast, Mom. I seen it, but I could, you couldn't see the house. Oh. Y'all was going. You should have told Stephen to slow down. Well, I didn't know he was going that fast. They all saying they sorry you had to go through that. And oh, him. thank y'all. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll be all right. I, I don't know why I'm really still affected by it. I, I really don't. I should be calmed down by now, but I guess mm -hmm. when you get old, 
things affect you worse. Uh, what made Stephen so mad? It, he didn't like in the store. He didn't like that at all. But when we went outside, we was going to our, my car, and he come by with that dog again on this side of us. And he was saying something about uh, that dog that I walked up on him too fast or something and made him do that. And boy, uh, Stephen told him to go on. You know, he, he did, Stephen didn't like that worth nothing. He didn't like none of it worth nothing, but he sure didn't like that man acting like it was my fault. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that kind of flower? C-R-O-C-U-S? What is that say? C-R-O-C-U-S? Crocus or something? No, I never heard that. She described it, and I missed the description, but somebody said that it sounded like a, a crocus flower. Where did she? Oh, I, I don't know. I missed. I wasn't looking at it when she put the description. There in it there. is. C R O C U S. I I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Is it a cactus or is it a plant or cro crocus? I never heard that. Me either. And I said yesterday that. That, that wisteria that was down there in Swainsboro only come in purple, and I, I do remember it it comes in white too, but I don't like the white near, but near, near as good as I do the purple. It looks like a thing of grapes hanging down there, are so pretty. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I never heard of that. Uh, Thank you for watching, Vanessa. No worries, Grandma is unnerved after those frogs yes. trying to attack her chickens. <laughs> huh? Frogs? <laughs> Mardell said you was unnerved about them frogs trying to attack your chickens. No, F-O, well, it says F-O-G-S, but I think they meant frogs. What about the crocus? They ain't, somebody's got a plant they wanted, to, they don't know what it is. Crocus comes at the same time as daffodils. Oh. Oh. Miss Connie said the description does match a crocus. So. Oh. Well, I they are a lot of daffodils. It's just not daffodils. They called a name, you know, and and uh, that could be. I, I've got all kinds, and I don't know the individual kind they are. I just I just call them daffodils because they bloom when daffodils bloom. Mm -hmm. well, I ain't never been bit by a dog. I ain't never, I've never <clears throat> had one to do that to me. I, I'm sort of like Tony, you know, er, every dog like Tony. Even me. Your mama me. got bit by a squirrel. Who? Your mama. She sure did. She caught one and he chewed her hand up. That thing will eat you up. She was she was feeding him pecans, and uh, we used to throw pecans on top of the house, and and they'd roll back down, and before they rolled back down, them squirrels would get them. And Mama caught one, and she she told me they eat her up, they will bite you. And I got some walnuts down there that I picked uh, on the video, and I can't even crack them with a hammer, and I put them mm. in a basket. And them squirrels is getting in that basket, and I've covered it up, and I've put it out, and they keep chewing through everything I put over them. They <laughs> eating them up. It's okay. I'll give you a big smile. And hope. oh, smile! Well, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish that would work. It will. I, I just got a. Uh, I just got to get, quit thinking about it, I reckon, mm -hmm. if, if I can. But that just put a, a scare on me that I can't get over, don't seem like. 
I will, uh, I will never uh, think the same about dogs ever again. I'll, I'll be leery of any dog that I. Yeah, I don't like getting around other dogs. Either. Well, I, I never, and I especially would think it would be a gentle dog if you got it in a store and on a leash. <laughs> you know, you think, well, nothing ain't gonna happen. But if that boy hadn't had that leash real good, he could have jerked it out of his hand. That's right, he could have. Because if you see that video where that boy's going in that store with that dog, that dog was pulling him. He was trying to keep up with that dog. Was just going just as hard as he could to that do door. Luna Beck said his sister got bit by a dog in the face and had over 200 stitches. Wow. Oh, my mama got bit by a dog, a mad dog, right here on her face one time. And we lived in Swains for Adrian mm. out in the country. And they had to take my mama to the, to the doctor every day for so many days to get a shot in her stomach. Yeah. Uh, she still had a scar up there where that dog, it was a mad dog, bit her. Thank y'all for the lights. Yes. Rabies. Huh? Rabies. Huh? Rabies. Yeah. Rabies. Yeah. That dog had that. And he bit her right there. Rabies. Yeah. Rabies. She got it. What did I say? Why well, did you, you make say rabies? I said rabies. A mad dog. Yeah, uh, Connie's uh, saying rabies shots now. That whatever they give you when a, a a rabid animal bites you, they have to give you so many shots in your stomach for so many days, or they did back then. Yeah. That's that's way back, way before I was even born. It will, Greg. It will go good. Thank you. Y'all, when I when I really get upset, I I don't over it. I can't act like everything's all right when it ain't. You know, I mean, I'm just. But I I'll settle down. I, I and I thought I would be already settled down, but I hadn't yet. Jade said you may need Gatorade, Grandma. Oh, that's what Cody tells me. <laughs> Cody, Grandma, you need to drink some Gatorade. When I had a COVID, he went to the store and bring Gatorade and put it in there by my bed and tell me to drink it. It was good for me. But that stuff ain't too good to me. <laughs> but I guess you have to do something sometimes that ain't that great for you. That's right. We do. It's a beautiful day outside, sun shining. Stay hydrated. Stress causes dehydration. Oh, it, it does. It does. It's not. Sure, it got a spot on. Yeah, it has. It does. What? Oh, you seen it in the camera, didn't Yeah, I saw it. What is it? I don't know what that is. It might be a wet spot. Might be. I went to church this morning and I had some red petals up and under that tree out there in my hair. Oh. Somebody, Wanda saw it. Oh. She said, what is that in your hair? I said, I don't know. It might be some of them blooms off of that tree out there. I, I walked by it and... Hey, Leanne. They fall in it. They, it's like snow on the ground. It's just a pile of them on the ground. So some of them dropped in my hair. Glad she found them before I got on in there and everybody seen uh, things in my hair. I did comb my hair. <laughs> but they got in there after I combed my hair. Where do you think they're catching fish or have y'all heard anything? I haven't heard anything. Uh, Dixie Miss, uh, They'll let a uh, mystery man know, and mystery man, I had to let y'all know. But it's all gonna be okay. 
they want you to let them know something whenever you hear something tomorrow. Okay. He said he'll tell y'all. Leanne, it's okay to be late. Yeah, he's going to be a nervous wreck. Ah, <laughs> oh, he'll be fine. No, he won't. He'll be... Yes, he will, Grandma. Well, he'll be fine, but he's going to be unnerved, too. Well... That'll be all right, too. He can say a little prayer for me. We don't drink Gatorade in Georgia. We drink Powerade. <laughs> in Georgia? <laughs> That's what Elwin said. Oh. Drink what? Powerade. What's that? Same thing? Well, it's a colorful drink. That's all I Stephen know. Stephen bought something yesterday in Adrian. Two, two things. Something. Uh, what was it? Some cream soda or some mess. Yeah. And something else. He wanted you to drink it. Yeah, he wanted me to taste of it. I didn't want to put my mouth on it. I had to just put it on my lip and give just a little hit and nothing with the when he got through when he got through drinking all that drink, he just took that thing and threw it over the in the back seat. I said, Boy, this ain't, that back seat ain't no trash can. Oh, I thought he threw it out the window. No, he threw it in the back oh, seat. Of I the told car. Danny, I said, No, he didn't throw it I out. I can't believe Stephen just threw that bottle. No, that he threw trash it. He threw it window. in the back seat. Well, I'd rather him done that than, <laughs> well, I, I, than I, too, I had him throw it out the window because I, I thought he threw it out the window. And I said, He <laughs> knows better than that. Yeah, he, he didn't throw it out the window. Did he get it out of yeah, your car when you got, got home? It, he okay. got it out. I didn't even. I looked last night to see if it was still back there. As long as he got it out. He got it out, but I have to mess with it. Yeah, I thought he threw it out the window. I, no, I he didn't throw it out the said, window. I don't like that uh -uh. right there. No, he didn't throw it out the window. Gatorade was formulated for the Florida Gators. Oh, <laughs> it ain't all I didn't like, know that. It ain't great. It ain't too good to me. Huh? And I said, I tell people I like Sprite. Well... I like Sprite, and I like Pepsi, I like Coca-Cola, but they say a dark drink is worse on you than a clear one, so I started drinking Sprite because it's clear, yeah. ain't dark. I don't even know if that's got anything to do with it, but yeah, well, I about can't drink the water. The clear drinks are better for I you. can't drink water all the time, I'm telling you. Thank you, Modern Homestead. <sighs> Arna says you're right, Danny. What? I don't know what you said, but you. I right. don't need that. It's been so long. Me and Grandma have been carrying on. I didn't know what he said. I don't need it. Power Aid is number one, says Dorothy. That ain't got no carbonation in it. My drinks is, taste better with carbonated water in it. I don't know if she's got it going yet. Have you got your incubator going oh, yet? Oh, no. I'm waiting on my silky eggs. Oh, okay. I got one coming, one silky egg. Who? Who Who was it, Bloomin'? Who oh. was it that had the silky eggs? Yeah. yeah oh, she was getting them from somebody. Yeah, she, she, she ordered me one. Oh, I, I got you, Barbara. That Steve, he's got nerves of steel. He don't get nervous over. He just lets everything just roll off like. And I'll say, turn here, and, he, and he'll say, he wanted to go into Dairy Queen, and I said, turn the other way, and he said, I did turn in there. But that's what he wanted to do. And y'all got y'all some. Yes, we did. And he was going by the uh, the thing to tell you the way to tractor supply. And when you get in the Swainsboro, there's a bypass thing that's new. It went around way around. And, and, and that was a long way, but he didn't know, you know. It, we could have went straight and turned to the right and got right there quicker than we did in going around that bypass, but he didn't know. He was, he didn't even tell me he, he was doing that by that thing telling him but that he was letting that thing tell him where to go. I got you wrote down, Miss Barber. He don't stress, don't look to me like over nothing, but he might stress a different way than me. I, 
my stress that people know when I'm stressed. I can't cover it up. We praying for you, Dublin. Is something wrong with her? She's got health issues. Oh. She needs prayers right now. Well, yes. And her family needs prayers, her sister. Oh, good gracious. No, I hadn't uh, done it yet, but I'm going to share our service at uh, Faith Christian Assembly when I get back home. I, uh, we have a church service every every Sunday morning, and I, I, I shared it uh, last week and this week. I can't uh, remember to do everything that I need to do. And, mm -hmm. But uh, we we had a good crowd today. Well, our church is very good crowd. Uh, COVID kind of wiped our church out for a little while, you know. Kind of really people were scattered around and not coming, but it's it started picking up, and that we got a lot of people that used to come that's coming back, and some new people, you know. Miss Joyce says she made your pizza yesterday, and she watched your video while she was making. Oh, it, it was a good. She said it was. Oh, I know that's good. I made make it make your own crust and everything. Thank you, Amanda T. Your writing's bigger than it was, ain't it? Mm. Right there. I don't honestly know, Grandma. Oh, well, I can see it better. I don't know if it's bigger or not, but. Let's put the glass back. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Oh, is the, it? The black background makes it oh, show yeah. up better. Thank you, Selena. Is it, is it all mine like that? Yeah. It didn't work out good. I know it, it kind of blended in with everything. The white yeah, is white and everything. You can see it a lot better. Yeah, you can. I didn't really realize that. Miss Ellen and Tammy have the same colors. <laughs> we do. I oh, didn't talk about the oh, rosy flowers. I hear you, Dove Lynn. I showed them my um, my hoodie. They loved it. You were still in church when I showed it to them. Who was in church? Dove Lynn. Oh. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, oh, I didn't get that. No double in. Wasn't it David Shear that sent you that wrap thing? I believe it was. Yeah, I showed it too. I told him I let I you wore wear it. it. I let it. I let it be over my shoulder <laughs> the other night, and it was nice. I, it it was, and she can wear that with her shoulder. When it has that surgery, it won't. That's right. She ain't got to put her arms in nothing. And now, I, and I wear my little jacket too, my little purple one that you sent me. Is mm -hmm. I like that one too. I wear it to keep warm. Yeah. Now I have to be there at eight, so it'll probably be about nine or so. You have to do a lot to get prepared to go, don't you? Mm -hmm. I mean, not really. A lot of a lot of things you had to do prior to the surgery. Didn't you have to go get checked? Oh Didn't yeah. You? Oh, that's so you what had I'm, to do your pre-op. Yeah, and all that's that what stuff. I. That's what I'm talking about. I get mean, approved for disability. They still hadn't. They called me and told me they was going over it, but they hadn't called me and told me they approved it yet. But gotta have it whether they approve it or not. But they gonna approve it. They just slow about getting back with you. That's what I meant, you know. I, yeah. I mean, you had to do a lot of preparation uh, before. Oh, you, yeah, you got to run here and you got to run there and you got to do this and you got to do that. Mm -hmm. See, I was thinking my facial expression was yucky. <laughs> oh, it was? <laughs> yeah, I was going. <laughs> Trying to figure out what I was talking about. <laughs> well, see, I, I talk in riddles sometimes, Danny. 
it's different on the TV than it is on the phone there. And when you're smiling on the phone, it's showing a delay, so it's showing all kind of weird oh, stuff oh. on my face. <laughs> I'll be telling Danny something. He said, you know you ain't telling me nothing. <laughs> I thought I was. Oh. You know you ain't telling me nothing. Vanessa says, hey. He says, hey, Vanessa. And Leanne, he says, hey. Luna Beck says, you and his grandmother would love each other. Y'all both have a green thumb. I have. I ha my mama told me that I could grow anything. I put, uh, I, I used to have some shrubbery, and I would put, I would put stuff down in the ground uh, behind the shrubbery to root it. And I put a stick down there, uh, a green limb, and the limb took root that I stuck down by the thing I was trying to root back there. <laughs> Mama said, I'm telling you, you can grow anything, even a, 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 a stick that you stick down by something to show where it's at, it'll grow, grow, be growing. And that really happened. It, it did. I just broke off a, a limb and stuck it down in there where I'd know where that flower was that I put there. And it come out, had buds all over it. I got you, Selena and Dixie, miss. Oh, are these people? Is them new people? I, I mean, I've not seen, heard them well, they, they, much. They don't chat all the time, but they've been on here. Uh, well, I, I I can't see the chat down there whenever I'm talking, but I'm talking and I can't read and talk at the same time. I can't even read hardly, <laughs> much less read and talk. Hey, Myra. I got a one-track mine. I don't have a, a two-track one. I don't either, Grandma. You do pretty good. You do better than me. What y'all got planned for this afternoon, y'all? If it's a pretty day where y'all at, like it is here, I keep yawning. I guess I'm going to get a nap. <laughs> oh. Hey, Grandma. Myra. Oh, that's Myra. That's uh, that lady's daughter, ain't it? That I, I believe so. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hey. Myra Gooden. Yes, that was the lady that uh, sung Tennessee Whiskey's, uh, that's, that's her, her daughter. daughter. She lives in Atlanta. Cleaning the yard. Oh, I'm so glad I saw that. I'm surprised that I did. I could look more while I'm sitting here and I'm not trying to talk and do that. But y'all, I'm, I'm sort of like a one track. <laughs> Tell Grandma, my sister Dora said that she was so happy to see you. And Dora was Myra's sister, not her daughter. Oh, is that she's right? Not, Myra's not her daughter. She's oh, her sister. oh, I get, I get mixed up. Uh, Myra knows. I mean, uh, Dora was in the store, but she didn't see that. But she saw that dog that was over there in that line. Uh, yeah. While we was checking out and. Oh, that was nice seeing y'all. I was, in, I enjoyed that so much. I, I couldn't figure that out though. She come up to Stephen. She started singing Tennessee whiskey. I thought, Are you on YouTube? <laughs> I couldn't figure out what, how she, how she come there and how she act like she knew us. That was, I won't never forget that day. Two, two things happened that day. I won't forget. One of them was that dog. One of them was that. Uh, this lady here, uh, uh, the, uh, what was her name? Dora. The one that got the rose to Stephen. 
Dora was the one that bought the rose. Oh, Dora. I get, I get her and her daughter mixed up. But I was looking right up there, and I saw, I thought I saw her name. I said, oh, that's her. Y'all, that was amazing. I couldn't, I, I still ain't figured out how all that worked out. But it was a memorable occasion. I enjoyed it, and I was so proud to see y'all. She loves Stephen. Boy, she gives Stephen a big old hug and a kiss. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dove Lynn. I believe that, too. And Miss Connie, sounds like you got a great afternoon going on. Oh, she does. I missed it. She's sitting outside doing a little oh, bit of Oh, Christmas weaving. cactus is so pretty. Oh, they are beautiful. I used to have one, but mine died. That so, usually don't happen to you, Grandma. Well, after so long, but I got a I got a flower down there. It was my mama's, and it is in a big old long pot, and it is just, and it stays out all winter and summer. I think it's something like hen and bibbies or. Something of it's some kind of plant that's got thick leaves on it, and you don't even have to water it. You don't have to do nothing. Even just lay it on the ground and it'll live. You don't even. I, I said, Tammy says everything she gets, it dies. That flower won't die. You remember that time, Danny? I put them flowers in that pot, and yeah. Marta, it's still there, still got them, and it's still living. Yeah. I can kill an artificial plant. You can't kill this plant because I, I put that one in that pot and it ain't never, it ain't got a lick of dirt or water or nothing in it. I could too, Grandma. It's got real thick leaves, uh, and and it kind of looks like a flower, but it's green. It's got dust. It looks like dusty on it. I was watching the sled dog race. <laughs> so good. Yeah. I, I, I kind of skipped over that first word, too. To I can't even it. see it. L-D-I-L-T-O-R-O-T-O-R-O-T-O-R-O-T-O-R-O-T-O-R-O-T-O-R-O-T-O-R-O-T-O-R-O-T-O-R-O-T-O-R-O-T-O-R-O-T-O-
thing over there that looked like a bear, and I was getting ready to leave. And I think it was a little bear. I don't know if it was or if it wasn't, but it looked like one. And I and it was in a deep, it was on a dirt road back in the boondocks. Thank you, Miss Ella. I have borax or borax, borax. red eucalyptus. Do you think that would make crystals? The borax will. I don't know about the eucalyptus. I mean, I, I don't know what that is. I, that's something, something that you, what is that? That's something cats eat, ain't it? I don't know, Grandma. That borax, you mix it with water and you put color in it, different glasses, and you put it in uh, hot water and you put a stick over the top of it. You hang your uh, little uh, pipe cleaners. You make designs out of it. And all them crystals will form on all that pipe cleaner. And it, it won't even look like a pipe cleaner is there. It just look like beautiful crystals all over it. Luna Beck said he has watched every video you've made. Who did? Luna Beck. He has! Did you see the one with the bear, or did you know that there was one there? <laughs> it was when I went to Keys Church, and it was about a year or two or three ago, about three <laughs> years ago. What? It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't lately. They paved that road right down there. Did you know it? I didn't until you, I saw y'all's video. But they quit before they got to the end of the road. You reading steady, ain't you, Tammy? I'm I'm all over the place. I'm I'm reading Leah Hands about her plants. Grandma, I seen that one. Oh, you did. What did what did you think it was? Somebody said it was leaves. Somebody said it was a but I, it just looked like it was coming towards me. And I just panned off of it because I didn't see it through the lens, you know. I just saw it after I got home. And it looked like warm to me. But if you have to look real fast to even see it. But I've slow motioned it and everything. I have watched all of Miss Helen's videos also. Who was that? Miss Flip Flop. Oh! Impressed. Y'all. I can't believe y'all. I have a sled dog. He is a Siberian Husky. He's black and white. Is my guard dog. They used to be a lady. Oh, what was that? The first responder. Oh, they was the lady that uh, lived right down there where Jada lives. She had a Siberian husky, had blue eyes. And in the summertime, that dog shed it off. She kept him in the house. And she had a fan blowing like this right here, panning around. And, and they was hair on the floor looked like tumbleweeds. Rolling around the floor. Yeah, I had some little like tumbleweeds on my floor yesterday too, under the chairs. And <laughs> that dog was so smart. She could say, "You want to go for a walk?" And that dog would go over there and get that leash and bring it to her. She fixed that dog a plate, a food just like she, her and her husband. She fixed their plate and she fixed that dog the same thing, and that dog went over there and eat it. Just did, Jenny. Thank you. That's sweet. Uh, Mardell said they coming to get you, Danny. <laughs> what are they going to do He's with you? He's talking about the ambulance. I mean, oh, the first oh, responders. <laughs> oh. The Jenny said well, they, they passed by. Jenny said, let's pray for them. So I did. Oh, I didn't. I thought she was talking to yourself or something. I didn't think about you was praying. No, I didn't want to interrupt you, Grandma. That's all right. Love the cooking videos too. Thank you. 
Yeah, y'all, I've been trying to decide something to show y'all again in the kitchen, and they just ain't nothing to show y'all in my kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen. <laughs> Blueberry delight. We done made it. I, I wouldn't mind having me some of that. I wouldn't mind having some right now. I ate two chocolate covered cherries before I come up here. Did you? Besides my food, I ate. Honey, our chocolate covered cherries been gone. I found some. Oh, <laughs> uh, at uh, Big Lot, Big Lots the other oh. day, and I bought me a box. And I, I just eat like two at a time, but two at a time, they'll get gone, and if you eat two at a time. <laughs> Uh, over, you know, tomorrow or tonight, I might eat another one or something. I try to eat them sparingly. Myra said her mouth would water when Grandma's cooking show was on. Oh. <laughs> Mom, Grandma has a stash of them chocolate cherries. Oh, I don't either. I don't eat them. <laughs> I got a stash, but I, they ain't no more. Oh, y'all. We don't got no and more. And I finally I finally eat all them gumdrop things, except the yellow ones. And I'm, I, eat, I was eating some of them yellow ones last night. And they Give ain't them Stephen. Huh? <laughs> Give them Stephen. Them, them yellow, yellow ones? Yeah. Why? Well, it sounds like you don't like them. Well... They hey, wasn't Trisha. my favorite. I hey, eat everything. Well, I I'm eating them myself, but they they wasn't my favorite. I ate my best ones first, and then I eat what the next best, and then the next best. I like I don't like to put different colors. I like to put all the same color in there. Carl, I killed my aloe vera plant. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I did. Then Miss Kathy gave us at church. Mine didn't last no time. But boy, them things sure help if you get burnt. They do. They do. I've had plenty of practice <laughs> with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the only person in the world. I'm, I'm not the only person in the world that has burnt my belly on an iron before. But I bet I'm the only person in the world that has burnt their belly on the oven before. How'd you do that? I pulled the rack out and I bent over, going to pull the pot up and I fell over too close and I <laughs> burnt right across my belly. Good gracious. <laughs> this was when I was in about my 20s. Oh, it was a long time ago. And, and look, I don't iron today, but it ain't got nothing to do with burning my belly on the iron. But look at him now, iron will mess you up. That thing hurt for a long time. A burn does hurt a long time, anywhere on you, but especially there, that tender skin is yeah. on your stomach. And I used to uh, curl my hair. Man, oh. I would stick that curling iron to my head. It would make me so <laughs> mad. <laughs> that hurt. It sure would. <laughs> it would. So, we don't curl no more. You no. Know? <laughs> I ain't curled it. I hadn't curled it in years. You need your curling brush. A curling brush don't don't burn your head. Right. A brush kind of you can take it and kind of yeah. turn it on. They use it. The beauty shop. And it won't stick it stick to your skin and yeah. burn you. I I bought me a round brush one time. Biggest mistake I ever made. Y'all ever had a round brush? Yeah. Yeah, I had a round brush one time. I went and brushed my hair. I got that thing tangled up oh. in my hair. <laughs> I like to never listen to you. I used to. I used to comb my daddy's hair. And, oh! And I get the comb tangled up in it and couldn't get it out. Jenny said a cousin of hers did that while she was pregnant and the baby came out with a burned birthmark. <gasps> But it said she was well and she survived, but man, my goodness, I'm glad I wasn't. Oh. Hey, Jenny, good Never. luck. Your house is so spotless, I don't even see how you even 
have to clean. But Ooh. anyway, Jesus girl. Oh, how but do you know about her house? Because she shared some pictures of her house oh, with me. She and did. It's beautiful. Oh. It's a calm, peaceful atmosphere. It's oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's right. But anyway, I guess even a place like that gets dust every now and then. But honey, you could write your name in this furniture the other day, but you can't today. <laughs> yeah, I come up here and she was sweeping and slinging and opening the door and getting over there and cleaning and I didn't. Well, she said she had to get this mess cleaned up. She was working at it too. Thank you, Inbell. We appreciate that very much. And lost souls too. Yes. Thank you very much. I pray for them every Sunday at church. Miss Janice says, Elipticus plants are good for burns. Oh, I don't even know if I know what a eucalyptus plant looks like. See it. You can say it. I can't say I it. I didn't never. Eucalyptus. Okay, y'all, we got 329 watching and 163 likes, it looks like. No, you're not. What's that mean? I don't know. I don't know. That was a few minutes ago. Julie, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. No, you're not. In bell, I lift, lift my hands and praise the Lord. Where did it go? And give him all the glory. Amen. Now, amen. That's right. Yes, that's that's. Can't go wrong there. Yeah, Hall's done that too. Hall's amazing right now, shouting to the Lord for her good report. Oh, yes, thank the Lord. Candace said they're all talking about hens and chicks. Early. Grandma Helen. Eucalyptus is the tree. Koala bears climb in. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Now I know what it is. Yes, I do too. No, oh. I, I ain't never had one of them. I like koala bears. Does that stuff taste good? I see. <laughs> <laughs> it does to them bears. <laughs> I thought cats. No, that that's not what cats like, is it? I've heard cats eating something, but I, can't, I thought it was eucalyptus, but it wasn't, I don't guess. I don't know, y'all. Cat, cats eat bird trees. Eat what? Bird trees. No, they don't. They <laughs> eat some kind of catnip. <laughs> catnip. catnip, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mardell. Thank yeah. you so much. Y'all, when you get... You have a wonderful afternoon. When you get 80, almost 85... When you want to say something, it's up there, and it's kind of going round and round, and every once in a while it'll come and escape out, and and, and that's how come I'm like I am. <laughs> I got so much up there, can't none of it get out what I want it to. Hey, and that'll happen at 62, too. <laughs> 60, T-W-O, T-O-O. Let's see, how many days for my birthday? Today's the fifth. Oh. It's about two weeks, ain't 15 it? Fifteen days. Fifteen days. Yeah, well, that's still a pile of it up there in, in 80, almost 85 years. And I've seen a bunch of stuff. What's that? Yep. Battery's dying. Sure is, Danny. Extreme. Put a battery in here. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mom. My the elephant got. The color ain't even come back in. Yeah, well, my, my, el my elephant got hung up on me. Your what? My elephant got hung up on the table. Your elephant? My necklace. Your what? My necklace. Oh, is that an elephant? Oh, I didn't know what you were talking elephant. about. Okay, y'all. I got to turn y'all around here. There we go. If you close the DMAD in, that means you got the camera the wrong direction. 
No. You do too. It's showing me and Grandma. Yeah, I know, but you, you, you're supposed to put the camera toward the right. Oh, I do got it wrong. Well, how did it work? I was just making sure I wasn't getting it on them black buttons. How, how's it doing? Must be good from both ways. Oh, uh, y'all, I, um, I got the camera on the wrong side. Hope y'all hadn't missed nothing. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can turn it back, Grandma. Uh, I moved it when I plugged that in. Uh, I'm sorry. See the little... See over here's the camera. Uh, oh, uh, you know how it looks like you're looking off when you're looking at the TV. Uh huh. I'm telling Grandma. Oh, well, you can tell both of us. She, the camera. See the camera right there. Yeah. It's supposed to be on that end over there near the right. Oh. Uh, well, that's the way it was a while ago. Cause I was over there and she was over here. She ain't understanding what I'm saying. <laughs> when I when I was in my twenties, I did on uh, Leanne. What well, do you need if, to fix it? Well, I mean, I can, but when you're gonna be looking at chat, see when y'all looking at it, y'all look like y'all looking over yonder. Oh, I am looking. <laughs> we we don't know that. Well, I mean, it's been on. I mean, can hours. you help me explain it to her, Tammy? You know, well, I don't, it don't matter to me. It don't matter what whatever y'all do is all right with me. Well, I'm just, you need to know this. I don't see have the that camera problem. right here. Yeah, we need to. You want it near the right? Yeah, uh, he, where you don't look like you're looking out the front door. Okay. Yeah, he told he told me that, and I. <laughs> I'm sitting on my thing again. I got to pull it up. Y'all, no, I, I have special needs. Oh, oh, I thought something happened. Oh, thank you, Janet. <laughs> thank you for a super it. chat. You know, see my elephant? It keeps hanging up on the table. It's come down a little bit. A bunch of the top of the house is showing. Oh, Lord, we don't need a top of the house showing. <laughs> Somebody want to come paint? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Janet, for the super chat. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh -oh. That's from when I jerked the that's, camera that's while I got it. That's got a delay, ain't it? It does, but it's okay. I'm trying to get you. You watch it. You watch it change when I flip that camera. Uh, oh, there we go. I was leaning over. Okay. You don't look like you're looking away as bad. Danny, we know that they are looking at the chat. It doesn't bother us. Oh. <laughs> well, we didn't your, know it. Uh, my birthday is March the 20th, the first day of spring. It's on a Monday. Is it? It's on a Monday this year. It don't matter to me what day it's on, but I love the first day of spring, and I love mm. my birthday, too. But yeah. I yep. love spring. Luna Beck's going to celebrate with you. Oh, uh, she she ain't saying she knows that y'all. She said we know that they just looking at chat, but then that grandma's one day y'all. Okay. They somebody uh, accused her of looking at me more than she was looking at y'all, but she's actually just looking at chat. <laughs> and and which side that camera's on, it it uh, makes a difference. And I you, see you, Tracy. And you also want like. The camera as close over to the to the chat as you can get it. Yeah. Cause it does look like you're looking way off, but you want to Tracy's out birthday is the twenty third. My sister's was the thirteenth of March, two years apart. Me and my sister was born in March. Luna Bex is the twenty sixth. Oh, hers is. So somebody got mad at Grandma for looking at me, and she was just looking at Chad. Well, why would they get mad at any and of that? They did. I'm telling you, they did. I remember. Well, I don't. 
you wasn't even, you wasn't even looking at me. But they thought you were. Well, that person just didn't have nothing else better to do than I to get mad. I didn't mean, think about it. They get over it. I don't get mad about stuff. I just let people make a video and I just watch it. I could, I'm pretty I mean, sure I, I could make If I could type, I, I would time. type more, but I can't type. I'd be three row, uh, four, four, 14 rows back down answering something somebody said. Dove Lynn's husband's birthday is the 26th. There's a lot of birthdays oh, in yes, March. Yes, they are. That's a beautiful time of the year. Oh, she's wanting to get JP's back. JP's daughter yeah, turned 40 on the down. 23rd. Oh, bunch of birthdays. Me and my sister had our birthday party on the same day because we had a, our birthdays so close together. <laughs> she said, I was born on the 13th, and that's a bad look. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> Born on the 13th. I don't believe in that. I don't either. And I don't believe in walking under ladders and all that stuff that they say is bad luck. And black cats, your daddy, Danny, your daddy, if a black cat run across the road, he'd lick his finger and exit out on the windshield. Hey, you don't believe in all that, but you don't step on cracks on the sidewalk, neither do you? Yes, I don't even think about nothing like that. Does people still play hopscotch? Hey, Linda Lou. No, I don't know. They do on some TV shows. It used red, to be pretty fun. I might not be able to do it with my knee now. And but. Red Rover, Red Rover. We used to play that at church. I got a video of Cody running through there trying to break through. I don't think youngins get out and plays no more like they used to. I mean, people, youngins used to get up in the morning and they'd go outside and they wouldn't come back in unless they was eating and then they went right back outside and to about dark. Now, they don't even go out hard, you know. They just stay in their room playing games on them computers. Wrong men do that. I know. But when, and, and, and you sure didn't sit on the bed, on Mama's bed. When you come in the house, you didn't flop down on her bed and sit down on it. You you knew better than to get on it. Read, read Grandma, what Fairy Pop said then. My favorite video was when Sweet Helen found the graves at the house and Adrian. Fun. What graves? Some graves you found in Adrian. Oh, oh, at my aunt's house in the woods. Oh, yes. I remember that video. That was at my aunt's house. Uh, an old cemetery out there. Hey, Tuh Tuh Fox. <laughs> I guess that's how you say it. It's been a while. It has been. Thanks, Tutu. Oh, I didn't know. Danny says it's Tutu Fox. Tutu Fox. Glad to see you. He said that's what the green unit is called. Oh, oh, okay. Well, we're glad you get the chat right now. Yes. Tutu on Grandma's birthday. What does that mean? Is today her birthday? I don't know. I missed it. Tutu on Grandma's birthday. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Danny, somebody said to you, Danny. It's Tutu Fox. Yeah. Me. March the 20th. My baby, my baby. What's that? Danny says, hey, Tutu. Two, two, or that's her baby's birth. No, that's her birthday. March oh. the 20th is my birthday. Yeah. Oh, That's my birthday. Thank you, Sharon. Hey, Miss Helen. Hey there. 
Thank you, Patricia. Tammy, it don't look. She has it. Same it looks blurry. Say as Grandma. The TV looks a little. Yeah, it might be. You may not have that thing plugged in good. No, I don't know. I don't got sleepy now. Oh, there goes my elephant again. Nice plug in. Ooh. Do we look blurry to y'all? <laughs> no. Huh? No. Danny said we not blurry. Hey, Tommy. How you doing? Macy, hey. Miss Jean. <laughs> Your hand covered up the whole thing, didn't it? It did. Thank you, Jenny. Marcy. Macy. I said Marcy. Not blurry. Macy. Oh, that's great. Miss Vanessa. Not blurry. Just gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Thank you, Julie. There was one neat. Tell him Mine was blurry him. yesterday and everything else it was could go wrong, went wrong. Hey Debbie, how you doing? And thank you. They say we look pretty, Grandma. Thank you. That's so sweet. He's an old guy with a young heart. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that, Tommy. <laughs> Selena's husband would have been 62 on the 24th. Oh, that's, that's young, really, to die. I thought my mama was on up in age, but she wasn't but 47 years old when my mama died. My mama was 41. How old, Tammy? Forty-one. She's forty-one when she died. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my you do, Mason. My mama loved Tony and Danny. Oh, she loved them to death. Tony was the first one in. He was such a little, he, he done everything in his life early. Uh, he walked at seven and a half months old and he done everything. He just rambunctious and he just, my mama just thought he was the greatest thing that ever was. And then Danny come along and Danny was sort of laid back like nothing like Tony, nothing. Tony. Danny liked to get in your lap and just lay there, rub him, rub his back or rub his head. I had two boys totally, totally opposite. Well, me and my sister was totally opposite too. I hear you, Leanne and, and Tutu Fox. Good. Hey, Shelby, we doing these. good. Yes, we are. Got up, went to church this morning, had a nice church service. Oh, 50. That's young, too. That's right. Yes, Modern Homestead, it is. I'm trying to look at it and read it, but it it's hard to, for me to read that fast. I'm I'm a slow reader. I used to uh, lay down at night with the paper, and I'd be trying to read it while I was laying down, and I'd wake up and I'd had the paper <laughs> falling on my head. And, what? You see that one, Grandma? Uh, Can yeah. you read it? 
how old was Tony when he passed? Oh, he was 46 or 47, wasn't he, Danny? Where's a pencil? He's give me something else to write on. I don't want. You can write on the book. I don't want to. Hey, you can just ask him. They pick it up right fast. Uh, he was born in 1956. He died in 2002. Six. Are you sure that's right? Fifty-six. That's putting four years older than me. Fifty-seven. I thought it was fifty-eight. Fifty-seven. He was three years older than you. Two. Connie says forty-six. Forty-six. Yeah, I got it right, didn't I? <laughs> Y'all, I, I really, that's not in my head real good, but, uh, yeah, he, he was young, too, uh, Thank you, Yolanda. But y'all, he lived a lifetime in his young 46 years. Yeah. Hey, Miss Betty, thank you. All the way from New Orleans. What does that say right there? My granddaughter got saved, baptized. sanctified, baptized, and she got the Holy Ghost two weeks before she passed away. <gasps> oh! And all of her certificates that was at her funeral. Oh. Oh, how sweet. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. That's, that's right. Amen. That's awesome. I am 91. My mom passed away at 97 and her mom at 92. Oh. All right, Loretta. You gonna make a hundred? How about that? I want to if I'm <laughs> if the Lord wants me to. Oh. Well, as long as you stay hydrated, Grandma, I believe you got a good <laughs> chance. <laughs> I believe you got a good chance. Thank you, Miss Betty. Everything's gonna be fine. I mean, I everything works. I mean. And I don't take any medicine. And I think I'm doing pretty good to be my age, health-wise. I've had COVID two times, and, and this other stuff like to kill me. <laughs> I hear you, Inbell. Thank you. But y'all, I had eat a bunch of nuts. And they were some little old packs of nuts at Walmart, and it was salted and flavored, and, and I'd get, go to Walmart, and I'd buy me two packs, and I'd bring them home and eat them, and every time I'd go out there, I'd get some more, and I was eating with English walnuts. I think all them walnuts and all the stuff done that to me. I ain't eat none since. I'm scared to. I ain't going to. I'm on. I, I was eating a bunch of nuts, and I guess your digestive system can't handle all that. My digestive system can't handle a lot of things. <laughs> Nothing don't bother me that I knew of, but that did. That uh, I was eating a pile of them, and I bought one bag of English walnuts. And I no, ate Carolyn, I didn't. I ate all of them, and then I went back and got me another bag, and they still at the house. I ain't eat them. Grandma, you are active. Stay that way. You will live a very lengthy life yeah, with a lot of joy. You cannot uh, lay around and not use your muscles and your brain and all that and stay in good shape. You have to use your things that you have or they'll go away. They will leave you. Thank you, Godfrey. And I love doing stuff too, you know. I don't, I don't even like to lay around. I'm I'm not a laying around person. Loretta says her daughter says she'll be here at 100. Oh, I have a lot of uh, people that was in my family live to be 100. Nuts make me sick. <laughs> they made me sick too. <laughs> 
But I didn't know that's what it was, you know. Hey, Peter White. <laughs> Aw. Where? Peter White. Is it? Is that a boy or a girl? That's so. I get their names mixed up. Is that the one that's under her husband's name? No. Oh, it ain't. That is Peter White. Okay. That's one of your biggest fans. Thank you for Peter White. I did Y'all, thank you for watching me. I, I can't keep up with all this uh, chat and stuff like I, I ought to, but I do the best I can. I, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm not good at that part. I can't talk and read that stuff. And I try to go back and look at it and answer some of it. There's so much I can't. I mean, I, I would never get to sleep or eat or nothing if I stayed trying to answer all that stuff. I'm sorry that I, I'm like that, but I can't help it. I... Oh, Miss Carolyn, you must be talking about one of those other videos. I don't worry about that stuff. What? I don't, um, I by no means can do any of that. It's all God. All I can do is just pray and ask. So I don't worry about anything anybody makes of me or about me. I tell you that they messing with the wrong person when they doing that. They they are not gonna have a good outcome unless they change their heart. But it's okay, but Helen, did you ask the doctor if it was nuts that caused your illness? No, I didn't even see no doctor. When you was at the hospital? I don't remember no doctor coming in there. All them people was doctoring me. You had two doctors come in there. They did? Yes, ma'am. I can't remember all that stuff. But no, there wasn't anything mentioned well, who about Who was the nuts. doctors? I can't tell you the doctor's name, but there was two nice young doctors that come in there. Oh, I don't know. I can't even... The hospital doctor and then another doctor. I don't remember a whole, whole lot about all that, you know. I, uh, I remember Tammy being over there in that chair side of my bed. And every time I tried to get up, she'd jump up and run over there and get me and help me go to the bathroom and help me back to the bed. And I was worried about her because she wasn't laying down and sleeping. I was fine. I won't be laying down and sleeping after tomorrow I don't either. Even, I don't even <laughs> think I told them that I ate them nuts. I don't know. You didn't. I didn't even think about it because I didn't know them. I didn't know that what caused that. But then they said I couldn't, don't eat none, no nuts and nothing like that, you know. And then I remembered all them nuts that I had eat. And I guess you, your digestive system can't digest all them nuts. They hard. Hey, Tony Z. Thank you. Tony Z said you look beautiful, Grandma. Oh, thank you. I didn't know you were talking to me. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of y'all. Y'all are awesome. Y'all know I'm feeling I'm feeling better. I have, I have calmed down. I really have. My whole insides is really just settled. Y'all made Miss Helen feel better. Thank y'all. Oh yes. I just I just now thought about it. No, Peter, she hadn't got her uh, silky eggs yet. She's still waiting. But I got my incubator. Uh, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to put some of my eggs in there and, and, and them little silky eggs. Thank you, Tony Z. Thank you, everybody, for the prayers. Yes, and... Y'all are y'all are so sweet and thoughtful. Y'all y'all are a blessing to our family. Yeah, I'm with Leanne. How you feeling, Tony Z? Has he been sick? 
Thank you, Sharon. I'm late. He has he has health issues. Oh my. Yes. He has good days and he has bad days. Have you, have you seen the doctor, Mom? No. <laughs> when I got admitted, they somebody come in there and talk to me, or I don't know. I can't even have remember that. I was sick. Aww. And they put me up there in that room. I saw William up there in the picture, and I don't even remember him coming up there. He sat up there a good while. Why? <coughs> Thank you, Peter. Luna Beck said you made them better, too. Made who better? The people in chat. Oh. Oh, thank you. I don't know how I done that. <laughs> well, they like hearing your stories and like hearing you talk. Oh. I'm glad she's feeling better, too. Sure am. I am very thankful, and I'm... Uh, I'm trying to do what I'm supposed to do to stay... I'm not eating any more uh, walnuts and uh, them wall them nuts that you buy in, in the store that's already salted and all that. They, them things was good, but I can't do that no more. Yeah, I got some in the cabinet I've been eating. Well, you better chew them up good or you don't eat a pile of them like I did. <laughs> I would go outside and sit down and crack them and one of my hens flew up in my lap and uh, was eating them. I, I got a video with that hen sitting in my lap. Flew up there to eat some of them walnuts I was eating. Kathy Phillips, Miss uh, Blooming needs a uh, prayer. Her her mother's in hospice, not oh. doing good. So that's why Miss Blooming's not in here today. But just keep Blooming and her family in oh, your prayers. Yes. I'm sorry about that. And hey, Miss Kathy. Can't have strawberries. Strawberries has got little tiny, tiny seeds. Hey, Teresa. Can't have them neither. She's done ate some of them. Who has? You have. Didn't you say you was eating strawberries the other day? Uh. Oh, was it a strawberry Sunday? Pineapple. Oh, pineapple. Never mind, y'all. I got my, I got my fruits mixed up. <laughs> Unless there was some on my banana split. Mm, yeah, they probably were, Grandma. It's usually pineapple, I don't think them little tiny seeds, chocolate. them little old seeds on a strawberry wouldn't hurt you. They probably worse. Worse? Because they little. Well, if they little, they ought to. Man, that ain't feed it your stomach, man. Oh. You know, well, you can tell them to give you double pineapple. They gave me pineapple yesterday, and it was in big old humps. I ain't never got no. I, I like that. I like crushed pineapple, not hey, chef cat. Big old hunks. Well, you was doing a pretty good job eating well, them hunks. Well, I know it, and and they pile it up, and they put that thing over it, and you take the thing off, and it and all it falls, falls off. It <laughs> two or three pieces <laughs> fell in my lap. They ought to have a hole in the top so you can eat. Eat Dar out the top, but it didn't have no hole in it. Darlene says she can't wait to see your new chickens come. Uh, me either. What you gonna do with all them chickens? I what I need to know is what Stephen gonna do with all them I, chickens. Chickens and ducks <laughs> and rabbits and... <laughs> Those ducks, I believe they are twice the size they were when he brought them here. Those things are up like this now. Gosh, he just got them. I know, but when they stand up, their heads is all oh, like this. Oh, gracious. They soon gonna be at the top of the cage. Hey, Barbara, good to see you. You know, I could be stretching it a little bit, but y'all look when he shows y'all on the coffee morning show how tall those ducks are. I had some geese one time, old, big old long Me neck geese. geese. 
They would bite you. I know. Every time you walk in the yard, they'd snap at your heel. They, they'd <laughs> snap at the back, back at the end of your leg. They wouldn't let nobody get close to me. If they did, they'd put their head down and they'd go get them. And they'd flap them wings. You remember that, Danny? Yeah. We can have a chicken farm and sell them. How many chickens hey, does Stephen have now? 19 babies. Four adults, 19 babies. Steve is fitting to see how, what a job it is <laughs> going to be for all them little... They, gonna, they never stop eating, especially when they're uh, babies and, and the light's on them all the time. They eat day and night. They eat day and night. <laughs> if, if chicken's down in the pen, it's dark. They don't eat. They just roost. When it gets daylight, they start to eat. But them in there, them little babies, they eat day and night, and they'll just eat up and drink up the most stuff you've ever seen in your life. That's right, uh, Leanne. It's, it's all his stuff, so. <laughs> Peter said that he had a, a goose when they were growing up, and his baby brother used to ride on him. <laughs> They big old things, and they have big old wings, too. And I mean, they can stretch them out like, and they can beat you to death with them things. And peck you on the, they they go after somebody's leg, the back of their leg, and bite them. If they come anywhere close to me, they go after them. I hear you, Sharon. We got plenty of that. What? Chicken poop for fertilizer. Oh, that is good fertilizer. <laughs> that is good fertilizer. No, ma'am, he's he's not Macy. I don't know what he's gonna do with him, but no, he's not gonna do that. <laughs> I hear you, Leanne. What did you eat for lunch, Miss Tammy? I haven't ate lunch yet. Oh, you have? But I will because I know after midnight I can't even have a drink of water. Mm. Well, that don't bother me because I don't drink much, no way. But you know what I am going to have after they wake me up in the hospital and they tell me I can have it? I'm going to have me a, a cup of black coffee. Yeah. I'm gonna have me some coffee, cause if I don't, I'll have a headache. I'm gonna have me some coffee. You have, 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 have a headache if you don't drink coffee. I'll have a caffeine headache if I don't drink caffeine. coffee. Caffeine. I already have sinus headache. I don't need a caffeine <laughs> headache on top of it. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know course, that. Of course, I I hope to still be medicated pretty good. But when they ask me what I want, I always tell them coffee. Oh, they ask you what you want? Yes, ma'am. They I, real good down there at that hospital. But when I was in the hospital, I had done ordered some stuff, some some food, because they told me I could eat some food. My Arna. And they brought they brought it in there, and it was that old suit of watery stuff. And Stephen said, that ain't even what she ordered. And he tasted of that stuff, and it had that stuff in it <laughs> that they was giving me. <laughs> he didn't like that man worth nothing. Yeah, Debbie, I have to be there at eight, so I say probably around nine. Thank you. What? Oh. Thank you, Karen. Nine. What does that mean? They want to know what time the surgery is. Oh, oh. It usually takes them about an hour to get everything going. Well, it's according to when they take you back there. Do they have they got you on the schedule? They usually pretty good on their oh, schedule. They... Yeah. Have Danny cook you a fine supper. <sighs> Miss Sharon, I usually don't eat but about one time a day. You don't. So you don't mm -hmm. eat chocolate covered chairs? No, I'll eat chocolate covered <laughs> chairs three times a day. But as far as a meal, I usually don't eat but one time a day. Oh, good. I eat almonds and I eat cereal sometimes. Oh, you eat almonds? I eat almonds. Well, you better, them things is probably bad as walnuts. Well, the doctors told me to eat almonds, so. Oh. Well, they thank, ain't, they thank ain't, the Lord I can eat almonds. They ain't told me nothing because I don't go to them. 
No, but they did tell you to stay away from nuts. Yeah, they did. They did tell me not to eat nuts. And that, I do That doctor that you don't remember seeing told you to stay away from nuts. <laughs> well, I don't remember seeing no doctor. Bye, Myra. Same to you. Thank you. I remember some of them people that come in there and give me shots and give me medicine and talk to me so nice and sweet. I remember them, but I don't remember no doctor. She don't remember the doctors because she wasn't talking to them about YouTube. <laughs> she was talking to all the nurses <laughs> no, and nobody about YouTube. Yes, you were. No. Unless they... The whole floor and a couple of floors beyond was talking, well, was watching me sit in the They discovered me when I went in there and, and they they spread the word and they was looking at my videos down there at the nurses station they said that's right Brian they are what protein almonds are good for you oh well I can't eat them no they're I not, like they not good for you miss Hill. I like almond joys though I I can't even eat that almond joys used to be a big old a candy bar had it was in a long old thing like that, and it was two of them, two or three of them in it, and it had almonds in it. Big old thing for a dime. Mm -hmm. They used to have two almonds in one piece, yeah. but now yeah. it's only one and the almonds and one almond. In. Yeah, they they downsize everything now. Bye, Myra. And still, and charge more for it. The size of Everything is smaller and costs more. Probably about an hour, Luna. He said 45 minutes to an hour. What, the surgery would last? Mm -hmm. well, that's mighty fast to have what you're going to have done. Yeah, but I got the best physicians in the world and the ultimate physician, too. That sounds mighty short time to do all that to me. Miss Helen, my granny, was 101. My nanny was 92. My father was 94. My daddy, uh-oh. Was 90. Was 90. <laughs> it went, it gone. I was trying to follow it, but I read slow, and that's... Yes, Myra and Dora are very sweet ladies, y'all. Oh, they Who said that? Miss Connie Jones. Where is she at? Oh, oh, they certainly was. I, y'all, y'all could have just knocked me over with a feather yesterday, yesterday up there whenever those, that lady walked up there and start, started singing that. I thought, well, hi. Goodbye, Miss Jean. I could not believe it. That just happened to like, out of the clear blue sky. Thank you, Miss S.L. I believe so, too. Myra and Dora. That, yes, that's so sweet. I'm so glad. That that wouldn't happen in another lifetime. I just don't believe nothing like that would have happened. It just happened that day. I will, Julie. They are, they are very, oh, very my, sweet people My there. daddy was a hunter. Oh! Goodness. Well, it's possible. They some of them live lived to be 113 and 14 and stuff. There's a VA hospital here, and there's people there that's, that's yeah. real old. Jane for Jesus said her daddy is a hundred and pray for his salvation. Oh, yes. oh, hundred. Sure will. I certainly will too. I I pray every night. For that's the most important thing. Yes, it is. When you that old, you you about to the line. <laughs> I mean, you. Every day is a blessing, and every day is a blessing to eat everybody. But when you get up there, you know that's cutting it kind of close. What's his first name, um, James for Jesus? I'm having a left shoulder replacement. What's your daddy's first name? I like mounds too. I like almond joy and mounds. I can eat a mound now, but I can't eat an almond joy. <laughs> Granddaughter of a hundred, you still have. <laughs> That's 
right, Brian. That's right. You, you definitely living on board. Yes, that's true. That's right, Tony Z. I hear you. Robert? Okay. Or Bob. Bob. All right. Thank you. I have a nephew named Robert, and they call him Bob. I don't call him Bob because I, I'm used to calling him. Well, no. His daddy's name is Bob, too. His Bob. He, I called him Bobby, but when he yeah. got older, he changed it to Robert. I mean, he, that's what. Bobby was a nickname. But I still call him that sometimes. I can't. Corey said you remind her of her grandmother, and her grandmother lived to be 99. Oh, thank the Lord. That's awesome. I, he still does the newspaper crossword puzzle. I tell you what, he's a <laughs> smart man if he can do them. I had never been able to do one of them. I tried. I can't do them. It aggravates me to death. I can't think of no word to fit in them blocks. Oh, Tammy does. You used to do them all the time. Well, I do word searches. Because oh. it's got the word there, and you just find oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Them crossword puzzles. The Lord did not give me the brains to do crossword puzzles. <laughs> I even got me one with Bible scripture. I couldn't even do that one. I had to get the concordance out and have to look in it. And anyway, that was too much trouble. I just give up on crossword puzzles. I'd rather watch YouTube. All right. I thought so too. Tammy's growing fast. What does that mean? Uh oh, I can't see nothing in here. Where, where it's you? gone that way. Oh. <laughs> I like to see what's going on, which I said it. Grandma it, can't see out the window here. <laughs> no, I usually, I usually am sitting in, in my house and I can see out the front door and the, what's going by. But when stuff like that goes by up here. I can't see it from down there. Leanne said her grandma passed away doing what she loved doing. She was out in the yard with her flowers and fell over with a heart attack. Oh. She was born in 1909 and she passed away 22 years ago. Oh. My, my, my grandma was born in 1900. I think I did, Jeannie. I think they actually coming back this time, but oh, um, I prayed for them again. Cherry? No! What? Pecan? What's a five-letter word that starts with chocolate-covered cherries? No, that's too many letters. Oh. <laughs> that's the first thing I thought of. I then I went to counting. Chocolate-covered pecan. Donut. That, is it, is I it donut? I, I don't like that kind of... I can't do that stuff. I can't, is it donut? I, I can't spell much less figure out that. It ain't a it ain't a donut, it's a donut. No, it ain't no donut. I'm trying to call Stephen to get a fish. That's before. too many letters. You called it a donut. <laughs> you and Stephen. It's made out of dough. Donut. I'm trying to call Stephen to get a fishing report. Well, he ain't he ain't stood in no phone call. Well that's right, that's right. Bear Paws, you spelled it right. What was it? She says she can't spell hey. cherry, but she put cherry on it. Put your daddy on the phone Chocolate. so he can give us a fishing Chocolate. report. <laughs> Covered pecan, P E C A N? I well, donut. Donut tastes better. Ooh! Yeah. What? Roach. Oh, I'm again, not, I'm going to put you on live and let you give us a fish report. I'm not eating no dough, Roach. 
I don't care if it or nothing else. All right, team. Here's Stephen. All right, Stephen. How's it going? Oh, it's going good. We, we got us a good sand, uh, sun tan going on. I'm talking about with the fish. <laughs> oh, we, hey, we got a mess. I don't know how many we got, but when I get home, I'm going to get them put in a swimming pool and see. Oh, okay. Well, what are yeah. your chances of cooking some? No, I'm talking about like, we going to see when I get them in the pool, we going to go from there. All right. Well, everybody was wondering. Have, are you, you, have you got your chapstick with you? I sure do. Good. Uh, he does. Good. <laughs> you sound like you in the truck. I'm in the truck. Headed in. Oh, you y'all done left? Yeah, headed in. That ain't like you, son. Well, uh, Hollywood had to—he had to leave to go buy a saw, concrete saw, and I just told him we could leave when they left. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, I mean, I'd be all right to stay a week. Oh, we know. I told him that you tried to get talk him into staying alone. My boy, I did. I tried. I sure did. I'm sure it was tempting. <laughs> hey, I mean, did you get on the bass? Yeah, we got a mess up. I, I told uh, Hollywood, I said, let's play rock, paper, scissors and see if we spend the night again. <laughs> he said, man, I can't. I got to go to work. Oh. Well, everybody was wondering. Well, my my camper my camper's ready. Uh, t Grandma said she'll feed all the stuff around here. Grandma didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> we get Tammy get over to surgery. Uh, have, we, have we had any more baby chicken? Nope. No more, but you sure got a bucket full. <laughs> how, how far are you from home? I'm in Millersville. Oh. Another hour. Well, that's another 45 minutes for Stephen. That's Steven. what Stephen said, 45 well, minutes to Millersville. Minutes already. Well, hey, be yeah. careful. And that's just if you don't stop by the uh, donut place. Stephen, that, that Lake Oconee is an extra 30 minutes going up there. That's the reason I quit going up there. Hey, if you're going to go fishing, it's worth it. All right. Well, did Hollywood have a happy birthday? He had a happy oh, birthday. Oh, was it his birthday? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's why they went for the weekend. Oh. Hey, no, we well, all be careful and don't tear up nothing. Hey, we done tore it up and done fixed it, so we good to go. Yep, yeah, somebody, somebody said you having you all the time having to work on something. I was a mechanic in at ten thirty last night. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Tammy Beck says, "Hurry up every chance you get." <laughs> hey, that's I only know one speed. If I get too quiet, that's because I'm sleeping. I know, Stephen. Yeah. Your mama thought you threw that can out the window yesterday when you threw it in the back seat. <laughs> I sure did. I was no, going to get on to you. I threw them in the back seat where they don't get under my feet in the floorboard. Yeah, I was going to get on to you because I thought you threw it out the window and I knew you knew better. And Grandma said, no, he threw it in the back seat. I said, well, that was better than throwing it out the window. I said, did he get it out? And she said, yeah. Well, see, I, I had to fill my truck up with gas every two days. So, when I'm filling up, that's when I clean out my back seat. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, it works out pretty good that way. Yeah, okay. everything everything you don't need in the front seat, you throw it in the back, don't you? Everything's better in the back. <laughs> Steven, those ducks are twice as tall as they were when you bought them. What's that? Those ducks? They twice as tall as they were when you bought them. Yeah, they eating like a hostage. And so is them 19 little chicks. Well, that's winning. 
They done graduated to the big thing of water. <laughs> they drink. They drinking a lot of water too. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, you be careful. Y'all be careful coming home. Daddy wants to say something. I got nominated to take Bailey to his mama's because she's she's the manager now and had to work. Okay. Uh. Hey, Steve. No, no, the director. That's what it is. Oh. Director. Hey, Stephen. Oh, Timmy, tell me you threw that can out the window. And uh, I said he doing that on live. She said, "Yeah." Us Lord and mercy. I, I like them figuring you ain't never going to hear the end of that. <laughs> no, nah, all my back seat catches all that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and the windows wasn't even down. He couldn't throw it out the window. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> I ran into a car at the McDonald's yesterday. What in the world? I don't know. I just pulled up trying to get to the window and ran into somebody. <laughs> He was hungry, I guess. Hey. And he went up the bypass on the wrong side of the road. Oh. Uh, I mean, dang. Oh, my God. Yeah, right there when you turn off of Pea Ridge Road on the 441. Pea yeah, Ridge. That's, that's tricky there. Yeah, it is. I, could, I'm, I couldn't see real good. Tony Z said, oops. <laughs> Hey, the man I ran into at the driving window, he didn't get out, so I didn't get out neither. Yeah. Hey, blue by you. I actually bumped him pretty good. <laughs> okay, sir. Bear Paul said Pee Wee Road. <laughs> oh, boy, he'll be here in a few minutes, won't he? Y'all having a good time, ain't you? Yeah, we are. Are you watching? Am I, no, I ain't watching, but won't, won't one of y'all run up there and grab a half a gallon of ice cream? I'm on the way. Hey. Well, you bring it when you come. We'll have an ice cream eating contest. Lord have mercy. Him and them eating contests. I'm fixing to eat something. I'm going to buy that Napoleon. I know how Grandma likes that tanky stuff. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> All right, baby. Well, we love you. Y'all be careful coming home, and you gonna take Bentley home before you come? I reckon so, so I don't get, so I ain't a wanted ad in the paper. All but. right. I love you, Bentley. You have a good weekend. I'm glad you got to go with your daddy. Yeah, he was a fishing machine. I imagine yeah. so. All right. He was hollering across that lake. He sounds like his daddy. I said, everybody that's seeing this can hear you. Sounds like your daddy. He's like, but that is a big and I can't help it. Well, that's all right. Holler all you want to holler. They don't like it. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm glad he got to go. All right, well, y'all be careful. Bye. Love y'all. Uh, yeah, love you too, Mom. You got your seatbelt on? I was waving at them, and they can't see us. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Love you. Bye. He didn't want to talk about not having his seatbelt on. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Oh. Y'all, I love y'all. I reckon I'm going to yeah. get off of here. It's, what time it's is? been a good while. Yeah, we, we had fun, and, I, and I'm so thankful that I'm calmed down. I really have. I I can't even believe I did, but it, it, I have. Yeah, well, I'm glad you did, too. Yeah, I'm glad I did, because I, I, I must have just had to get, get it out of me, and I guess it just came out while I was doing this, because I was like that when I started. I, but thank the Lord, I, I'm, I'm okay now. Yeah, we... Proud of that. Blue by you, I don't know what Bentley caught, but they went fishing and they caught some fish, so I guess we'll find out later. Um <clears throat> we got a lot of prayer requests here again today. Uh, I'm included in that. Grandma her getting calmed down. And, I, and, and the Lord's done handled that. 
So um, we gonna we gonna pray. Dear Lord, we come to you right now on behalf of all these prayer requests. And dear Lord, we ask you to especially be with Blooming and her family right now, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that if it's time and you're going to take her mother, let her have a peaceful, easy transition to you, Lord. Dear Lord, we just ask that you strengthen that family, Lord, and give them peace. Because it doesn't matter what age somebody is, it's, it's still a hard to let go, Lord. We thank you for letting Miss Helen get calm and peace, Lord. We ask you to be with all these people who are in pain, Lord, the ones who need salvation, Lord, the ones who are just hurting in their soul and in their heart and in their spirit, Lord, the ones who are going through cancer treatments, the ones that you are touching, Lord, and you're shrinking the cancer, you're, you're healing people, Lord. We, we just thank you so much for everything that you're doing. The, all the ones who have had surgery here lately, Lord, we, we thank you for their good outcome, Lord, and we pray that you would just continue to keep your hands on all of us, Lord, all our YouTube and Facebook family, Lord, all yes. the ones around here, all the ones who are having migraine headaches, Lord, we just pray that you would touch and you would heal and give comfort with that, Lord. We just pray that you'll uh, be with us tomorrow, Lord, as we go through this surgery, Lord, and let everything go okay. We pray that you'll get us home safe the next day, Lord, and Ooh, we ask you to especially be with us during therapy, Lord. <laughs> and all the ones who are having to have therapy and rehabilitation, dear Lord, the ones who are fighting addiction, Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you'll continue to touch them. Thank you for helping Deborah's husband, Lord, uh, through his journey of uh, quitting smoking, Lord. We ask that you continue to strengthen him and be with him, be with Deborah, Lord all these things, Lord, that we, we just come to you with, and we ask you in Jesus' name, Lord, please keep us safe till we get to meet again, Lord, and I guess again we'll be at 6.30 in the morning with, with Stephen's Live, I guess, but um, thank you, Lord, for everything, and um, we'll see you in the next prayer, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all, um, Christina will let uh, Danny know something tomorrow after she knows something. So if they get delayed and it's later than 9 or whatever, whenever we she knows something, she'll let Danny know and he'll let y'all know. Thank all of you for chatting. Thank you all the moderators for doing such a wonderful job. Thank you for the super chats. We, we love y'all whether you're able to super chat or not, but we do thank you for the ones that do. We got 349 watching, 210 likes, and looks like 4697 in super chats. So thank y'all so much. Sure. Thank you, Tony Z. Tony Z said he's praying for you too, Danny. Thank you, Chef Cat. Yeah, he's, he's gonna need it. He'll be concerned. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dove Lynn. You enjoy church tonight. Okay, we love all y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Bye-bye. Uh.